Hello, Solite. It's great to connect with you. If you happen to be new to this channel and community, welcome. I'm Michelle. I hope the energies of 2024 are meeting you in a place of love and abundance. This reading, we're going to be looking at the soul messages and soul changes that are coming through for you. So we're going to be looking through the Akashic uh, records to see what are the destined changes that are coming through for you on a soul level. Now, if you really look at the astrology of what's going on, really the shift energetically is starting mid, let's say mid-February, um, somewhere between, I would say, the 15th, 16th, and 20th. So this reading will help you see what is coming up for you, what your soul is intending for you, which is that true you, your true essence, and perhaps what you're also completing and moving on from. So we're really going to be looking at what is manifesting for you on a soul level. Um, this is a pick a card reading. Um, trust your intuition. Be guided by the cards that most speak to you or card that most speaks to you or you feel most resonance with. If you're new to my channel, I do a tune in um, an alignment meditation, but everything is timestamped so you can skip ahead to the timestamp or the chapters. Also for this reading, the second half will be um, based on numerology. So for those of you that are interested in the numerological cycles, I am doing an overview of 2024 and then the personal year. And I'm going to go into how you calculate that. And I'm also coming from a soul perspective with the numerology. Um, okay, I hope that's something that you enjoy also because I like integrating that into my readings. All right, so let's look at the cards. And we're also going to put um, some stones. Those of you know that I love my crystal beings. Okay, we've got a pyrite nugget for soul story number one. So here's soul story number one. The magus or magician. And the pyrite. Make sure you can see that pyrite crystal. Let's put that right in the center there. Uh, the second card is Judgment. And the crystal that's speaking for that is Aragonite. The third card, we've got Aeon, the Aeon. And the card for that is, ooh, getting kind of two messages here. Let's see which one. Okay, Amazonite. The fourth card is Karma. Justice. And the card for that is Turquoise. And then we have, this is really a mystery card. It's a very interesting card. It is the mystery, the great unfolding. And you have, I can't remember what stone this is now for some reason. Oh, blue lace agate. There we go, blue lace agate. All right, so soul story number one. Soul story number two, soul story number three, soul story number four, and soul story number five. So skip ahead to the timestamps if you want to. You can pause the video to get a closer look at the card, cards and or crystals that are calling you. I always say trust your intuition. It doesn't really matter if the cards are different or they have you know, no stones, you will get a message from your intuitive wisdom, your body wisdom of what is the card or cards that holds the most life enhancing and most soul aligned messages for you. All right, if you're staying with me for the meditation, let's connect in. And breathing up in through 
that soul star chakra above the crown chakra. And when you consciously release the breath, bring your awareness into that heart lung area of the body. You want to begin to connect in more to your breath to align to your true nature. Aligning in through the subtle energy of your body, connecting into the vibrational frequency of your higher self. Releasing the breath in your own pace and pattern. Beginning to feel a connection there. Feeling a connection deep inside as you connect in through the heart chakra. Aligning into the deeper awareness and alignment of you. And when you're ready as you breathe out, bring your awareness into the root drawing down through the root chakra into the earth star chakra and breathing up through the middle earth from the earth star chakra connecting up through the channels of the chakra aligning into the center of the body breathing up out through the crown chakra in through the vibrational frequency of your higher self Connecting into the soul star chakra, extending and expanding your energy around you. Aligning to your higher self for the most resonating messages for you. Understanding that you are being guided on your path through your very own higher self. Your guides and spirit guide you to what is most aligned for you. As you connect in through the soul alignment, through the vibrational frequency of your higher self, opening in through the etheric plane, the astral plane, the akashic plane, to receive the messages that are most aligned to you at this time, that serve the higher purpose of your soul and soul path unfolding. Connecting into the timelines that are most relevant for this reading and for your life at this time. That which is of the highest vibrational frequency, awareness, and alignment. And that which is the most of service for you is what will now come through. And when you're ready, if you haven't already, choose the card, cards or crystals, or stones that most connect to you. And I'll see you in the readings. Hello, Soul Light. Welcome to your reading. If you chose Soul Story number one, you chose the Magus and the Pyrite. Now, of course, you can choose as many cards as you want, as many stories that could have different messages for you. The message I'm getting for these, um, this reading, it's not to be long. Let's see what goes on. But it's to pinpoint what is shifting for you on a soul level and look at what is manifesting for you. This is also to get the direction that your soul is wanting you to go in and for this group, I'm definitely feeling a, an, or an urgency starting to come through or a picking up of energy that is starting to come through. And I'm guided to point this out. Um, there's a lot for you on the mental realm this year. There's a lot of ideas. A lot of you are going to put those ideas into form. Your soul says it's time to put the ideas into form. It's time to get it out of your head, out of your mind. For some of you, this is on paper. Some of you, this, it's really what I'm getting on a soul level is you're meant to be more concrete, to put something in form. This is about manifestation. Now manifest, it's very spiritual, but manifest simply means to make 
visible, to make seen. It comes from the uh, French word manifest. Um, so, or like manifesto, it's a blueprint. So this cycle, you're moving into your soul's blueprint more. You're going to feel a lot more energy if you haven't and you're going to feel very focused some of you might feel like oh my god i'm obsessive about an idea or about something or someone or some life or something that you're wanting to create or build so you're going to be working i heard a lot with four 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 you're probably seeing four 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 a lot some of you even seven 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 one 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 and eleven eleven so you are moving into higher vibrational frequency of manifestation of manifesting and manifestation. So something in your life is up leveling. Um, it is showing in the Akashic that you have a chance, some of you are already doing this, you're breaking with some kind of past pattern, past patterning that, mm, I don't wanna say held you back. Um, the message they're telling me is it's not necessarily that you got held back, some of you did, but it it was, it's out, something's something has outlived its usefulness and is moving on. So this year, this cycle, you're gonna be very focused on manifesting, on creating, on some of you it's writing, some of you it's a particular dream, a goal or a desire that you're gonna be very focused on. It's also showing that this is a year that you're gonna be focusing a lot on your individual self. It doesn't matter if you're partnered or have family or whatever. This something somehow you are extending out more in the world as an individual, and and some of you are also going to be really looking at your individual gifts more, your soul gifts. The soul is also saying you've done a lot with others or you've done a lot for others. So this is a time for you to move forward with what it is that you do. Now also. Okay, the soul is saying there are no quick fixes. This isn't happening quickly. It's happening step by step. It's happening bit by bit. Your soul is saying, we want you to write it down. We want you to put a plan together or create a calendar or, or for some of you, it could be a vision board, an organizational board, I don't know, a storyboard. They want you to put things into form and also to follow through. This is the time to follow through on your using your gifts, your talents. Um, your, your soul is saying there is going to be a new, there's a new gift or talent or some kind of ability. Some of you, it's something that you've studied. Some of you, it's something that you know um, naturally. You have a natural connection. We've got Pisces, I believe. Okay, we're just going to get some cards out and then get other messages. South node, life's debts. Okay. Now, one of the reasons I chose or I tuned in, I actually had different cards chose for like what I call the guide cards. These are the guide cards, the cards that, you know, people choose. It's because this, this year there's a lot about ending cycles, karmic, karmic completions, karmic culminations. There's a lot about learning lessons and moving on from a pattern. Okay, so I am getting a message for you to, not, to believe more in yourself and you're going to be working with the, the pattern of doubt or non-belief or thinking things are too difficult or too hard. Um, so you are releasing a karma this this next cycle. A karma that's held you back. Maybe you've had to wait for people. Maybe some of you had to wait till kids were older or you had the money to do something. There's been some restrictions that you're moving on from. And it does show that you're going to be helped. Okay. You're, this, again, this is a... This year for you is all about creativity, creating, making those dreams, goals, visions a reality or those ideas. It doesn't matter if it's painting a picture. You have it in your mind. There's a lot that you're meant to get out. And then the next card, look at you've got fifth house, creativity. I also am hearing you say that if you know your chart or find out your chart, that's going to... Um, going to tell you a lot. Jupiter return benefits. Okay, I'm 
just going to get a few cards out and then we're going to dive a bit deeper. Yeah, your soul wants, your soul is very creative. Some of you are going to be finding a new way of creating or being creative. Something that's much more, it could be a hobby for some of you. Perfectionist, aha, uh -huh, that's okay. It's funny because I was asking when I was meditating, I was asking God, I was asking source. And of course I work with guides, the spiritual hierarchy and the oversouls. But I was like, do I need to get cards to focus on if there's any blocks? And I just heard this like space. And then I heard like a little laugh, don't worry about it. And I see what's happening here. Okay, we've got vibrational match. Take one, collective consciousness. Whoa, the messages. I'm so happy to be able to do this reading for you and I'm really getting the message here. So just hold on. I wanna connect in because this is a very specific message that has to do with your beliefs and your beliefs about yourself that for some of you are blocking the soul expression and that um you know hypnotherapy nlp would be really good for you um okay let's just see let's get it out there mars and then we're going to do a little tarot oh look at this activate and I just heard, don't be afraid, Juno partnerships. Okay. So even though you're on your own or you're doing a lot on your own, it is showing in the Akashic records that there is a, I'm getting this with here. Look at that here and there, this light. There's something happening on your timeline where there's a separating out or two timelines are merging and your timeline is going to be merging more with what is a vibrational match, including relationships. Now, Spirit is saying play, okay? Your soul wants to play and just try new things. Don't try to be perfect. Don't try to have it all figured out. There's people that are gonna be coming to you that want to connect with you or want to create with you. You're to open up to creative possibilities, creative collaborations. There's a lot of increase, benefit, money that's going to come for you um, through friends or like-minded individuals or through soul groups or soul your soul tribe. So you are releasing the need to have to figure it all out. You're also releasing the focus of having to only help others or assist others. This is your turn, your time. Your soul is opening up. Your soul is saying to believe in yourself. So on your soul's blueprint at this time, you're going to be working with groups or larger groups or certain people. I'm, I'm being shown like social media. Now, again, some of you, it's, you know, a lot of different people are going to be looking at this video. So fit it to you how it fits to you. If this fits for you, your story. I definitely see people going more public or more well known in a certain circle or a certain group. Um, this, I'm feeling that your soul is wanting you to do more projects or more creativity, more creative expression. Your soul is popping out. I mean, my heart chakra right now, soul story number one, is just vibrating. It's, I gotta do a little gong. It is, wow, I'm telling you, there, there are new people some of you, this brings in a creative partnership. Some of you, this brings in a personal romantic partnership this year. If you're looking for partnership this year, it's going to happen. A lot of what you do this year, you're going to meet new people on your own or you're going in the new group. Someone's seeking you out. I can see people looking online or seeking you out or DMing you or... Some of you also, this could bring people from the past that you're completing with. Um, your, your soul is saying that there is a completion that's going to take place with certain people that have been in your life. Now, certain people that were, are in your life or, or were in your life and maybe you haven't seen them in a while, 
they could be coming forward and take key precedence, okay? There's something changing about your circle of friends or the people that are around you. What's happening is a lot of male energy is coming in for you. You're gonna be really activating. You've got solar flares and motion. So the 111, or 111 and 1111 is a vibrational tuning fork. It's an adjustment. It's bringing you more into a higher vibrational match in all parts of your life. Friends, family connections, um, dating situations, partnering, um, business, creativity. You're going to have the funds. Like some of you are going to be updating. You're going to have the funds to update or people are going to help you update. Um, some of you I see gifts. Like you could be needing, I don't know, a computer and someone could give it, give you a new computer and they could say, oh, I have two or my business bought me one. And, and now there's, you know, I have this extra one, or do you want to use this? So basically what's happening for you in the Kashuk records is those of you that have felt held back, you're going to be activating. There's a lot more movement, motion, things are going to start moving. I would say within, the, well, we're going to get timing. We're all going to do timing. Um, but things, I would say two to three months, things are starting to really pick up for you. Um, there's a lot of movement. Now, what you're learning um, is to be open, trusting, but yet have some reserve and some caution. It would, it would be like the eight of pentacles in the, in the tarot. Uh, prudence and you're learning to just try things more to create to put things out there and not hold yourself back so a lot of you have hold, held yourself back because you felt you didn't have enough of something or the right thing um, again it could have been perfectionism let's see what yeah you're getting the people that you're meant to work with is coming in, devil. Yeah, this is all about manifesting, which is the devil card. It's using your creative energy. The devil card is about using your creative energy and manifesting or anything that's happened to you that you that you feel um, that you've had to heal from. You're now to take that energy and create with it. Six of Cups. It's that people from the past. Let's see if we can get an Akashic and six. Ten of Swords. Yeah, you're definitely leveling up this this year. This, but you are going to have to work with um, any issues around doubt or fear stopping you it's like feel the fear and do it anyway or holding back going oh i don't know enough or i haven't studied this or i'm not that good in this i gotta wait um it's time to move on look at that the healing yeah look at that five of wands ace of wands the activation that's what i thought that stuff two to three months i'm telling you the summer Oh, sorry, spring is going to be great. And the star. So again, star card, 11th house. This star is ruled by Aquarius. 11th house is the house of Aquarius. I would say that you're going to have new people pop in your life very quickly that out of the blue or I call them magical helpers. You're, you're attracting people that want to help you, want to support you, want to support your dreams your goals desires even some people that you didn't think were that close with you are you are going to be really supportive of you and what you're doing in your life um okay hold on let me see let me connect back into the akashic okay it's like a shroud is being lifted from you a veil where you really start seeing the earth game. You really start seeing about creativity and putting things into form. This year is about manifestation, manifesting from a higher vibrational frequency aspect of you, manifesting more from the soul, understanding your soul, living more from your soul and creating. This is a very artistic, creative group, whatever it is, even if you're like, oh, I'm not really that creative, it's, it doesn't matter. It's like you have to look at yourself now as a creative being. 
what you wear, what you eat, what you know, the dishes you have, mm. the car you drive, if you drive a car, or the scarf you wear, it doesn't matter. You need to look at yourself and your life as soul expression. That everything you're doing is to reflect your soul, the true you, the authentic you, the genuine you. Now, saying that, I do feel a lot of you are artists. I just heard medium. Some of you, this is also about working with the occult or bringing more of your spirit and spirituality into what you do. You are letting go of a cycle that has held you back. And some of you, this has been through training, childhood training, where you've been held back. Maybe you were the star, you know, maybe you were the shiny one and you were held back for some reason or you had to help others or you could say the black sheep, which really the unicorn, which I really feel like this group is, this is about trusting yourself, trusting your inner knowing, trusting your guidance, the inner guidance that you're getting uh, and beginning to move forward in confidence, knowing that you're going to be attracting now the right people, the right situations. You've completed a cycle of kind of mismatched people or mismatched relationships, mismatched situations, some of you mismatched jobs. So those of you that are looking for jobs this year, there's going to be jobs that are more in alignment with your path and purpose with what fulfills you. Again, look for changes in the springtime. Um, this year cycle has you in a whole new environment by next January, February, okay? So you are working towards extending and expanding more out into the into the world. Okay, let's get some other cards here. God, I'm getting a lot of Dana, Dana Donna, David, David, North, traveling North. A lot of you are going to be traveling also. Some of you are, are changing your mode of work, power position. Yeah, you're being called to lead. Look at that. So some of you are moving in a different position in your life. Honest work. Now, for some of you, what I see on the Akash, you're going to take some kind of job or position that puts you in a better alignment to what you want to do next. So some of you are bridging from what you used to do into some new venture or new career path or new way of living. Yeah, doors are opening. You want to be prepared for the openings and the opportunities that are happening for you by, by noticing where do I hold myself back? And then realizing, okay, I can hold myself back in this particular situation. I'm not going to hold myself back um, anymore. You know, just be aware of that. Create. Look at this. You're being asked to connect with your creative side. So this year, you go to a much bigger level with your creativity. Whatever that it is that you're doing, whatever path, whatever... Whether this is a job, this is could be a promotion in a creative field, or whatever you're doing artistically, this is bringing a, an expansion in your reach and how you're seen. And some of you are actually going to be selling something, I feel, online. Okay, I'm also hearing you need to follow up. Follow up on those opportunities. Yep, yeah, you're getting out of debt. I see a lot of you being able to pay off debt and put money aside for savings or have a nice little cushion or nest egg. Some of you are going to take some money that you're able to put aside and it's going to go into your business. Okay, if you're looking for a job, the job will be here. But I also get that you're changing employment. Okay, that's what I'm getting is you're changing employment and it shows unexpected income. Okay, I'm going to suggest to people that they screenshot these readings and, and put them on your phone and look at them um, just as a way of connecting into that energy. All right, let's look at any days that are important for you. Soul story. 
number one on the Akash. Any months or days that are important. Okay, it's time to take a break. So don't burn yourself out. Again, because you've got this activating energy, you could be really pushing this year. So you're going to have to take your own breaks and go, okay, I've done enough. Let me pull back. And some of you, this is, this is some kind of project or projects that you're really going to want to complete or get to, you know, get to a next level. Okay, give it time. It works. It's in the works. Yeah. So don't push, um, you know, your higher self, it, it, you, you could be sleeping or whatever. Your higher self is never sleeping. So your higher self is, you know, our higher self, your higher self, everybody's higher self is always working. Um, let's look and see any other time or messages for you. Next month looks promising. Okay, for work. So if you're looking for a job, I would say next month. Um, I would say look for turning points, positive changes. In the springtime, um, you are moving into a space of more abundance and more possibilities. Let's see, any other time? Okay, in April, that's the spring. So a, springtime has something very important for you, some new direction, a decision that comes in. It could be a new person coming in your life. I just see that the springtime moves you in a space of healing and expansion for some of you reaching more people connecting more financially i would say by a lot of you if you have a lot of debt it's either all paid off by the spring or a big chunk of it is gone and those that of you are looking for work you're going to get better employment some of you are doing multiple jobs but another job that's coming in where you're going to be able to release one of the jobs because you have um uh, because you're going to get one job that's like paying the same as two jobs. Okay, so there is something that you're going to be able to let go of. Some of you this year, you're letting go of a long standing job or way of working for something that pays better. Okay, so those of you that are looking to up level how you work or what you're doing financially, that is coming this year. All right, let's look and see anything else we want to know. This is the year that you take initiative. This cycle is about you moving forward. Look what you've got at the bottom. Dazzling gems. Now, some of you are going to be creating jewelry. Some of you, this is jewelry in like Etsy or online. Some of you, this is your own boutique or that's happening Um in the website or something or some of you are are restoring i don't know restoring something restaurant celebrating dining some of you could be working around food but this is also i want to say like um those of you that hang out in like cafes and stuff i feel like you're going to meet someone someone very influential some of you are going to be traveling and you meet this person while you're traveling and you're in a cafe and it's going to open up a, an opportunity for you to work I just heard abroad or do a different type of work or someone's going to hire you for a different type of work all right let's see what we got going here so this is the change on a soul level this is destiny this is coming from the Akashic this is saying look you're going in a new direction but you're going to initiate some of this change you're going to you are the instrument of the soul. So you're going to be making some different decisions. Different people are going to be coming in your life. Your soul wants to create, move more into an artistic focus, self-expression, soul expression, art, music, some kind of artistic, you know, maybe some of you it's, you know, sharing or videos or posting online, whatever you feel is creative. This is about you moving more into the authentic version of you. Let's get a last message. From the astro dice, the best approach, second house. Look at that Capricorn. South node in Capricorn in the second house. You don't have to work so hard. I think that's what that devil is. The dev the higher vibrational frequency of the devil is about manifesting. Now I have a video. If I think of it, I'll put it, uh, you know, insert it in the end screen here. But 
I have a video um, called Don't Fear the Devil and Don't Run from the Seven of Swords. And I look at a longtime metaphysician, a cultist, esotericist, um, the devil, it has a bad reputation. The devil ruled by Capricorn is not always addictions. The highest vibration of the devil is about manifesting on the physical plane. It's about creating the structures. It's about maintaining and stabilizing your life. So anyway, you might want to look at that video and because it can give you some a soul perspective of the devil and also from a... Um, occultist and, and spiritualist point of view, understanding the symbolism of the devil. Problem is a lot of people get locked in, like it's great to work, it's great to be excited about what you do in life and put in the hours, put in the time, put in the days, but balance, you know, to not get locked into everything being from the material. So that is one thing I would say for you, is your soul wants you to know, is that look, your higher self is always working. You're always, always creating that doesn't sleep. So even when you need sleep or take a downtime or do something else, your manifestations are still percolating. There, things are coming together in the etheric plane and the astral plane. So you don't have to push so hard. That's going to be a big um, understanding that you're going to have this year is I don't have to push so hard. I don't have to do it so hard. And a lot of you are going to have some, you know, nice um, revenue streams coming out. But get that book, focus. What is it you want to write? Put it in, put it on, you know, put it in paper, put it in a, a journal, put it out there in the world, publish, write, um, post, you know, do that book, do that movie, do that play, whatever that it, whatever this ex creative expression is that you have in your heart, it's coming from your soul. And now is the time to manifest it in a way that you can share it with the world. All right, for you, your, um, let's see, your soul insights mantra. Let's see from the soul. Let's go from the Akashic. Let's align. Hmm. I am aligning a more resonating aspect of me on the soul plane and some of you I'm aligning to my soul vision so this is all about alignment for you which is the magician I would read up on the magician a lot of different you know definitions about the magician energy but there's something that you're aligning to because the magician aligns to spirit the magician knows that it's just a vehicle or a vessel an instrument working with the elements and spirit, the ethers. So remember for all of you, the power of prayer, the power of mantra, of affirmation with the work, with the follow through. Okay. As long as you've got those two and the, you move into inspired action, you're going to manifest some amazing things this year. Some amazing things. All right. Um, I hope this resonates for you. Let me know in the comments if it does. Um, if it does, hmm, put in, I just heard crystal ball. So are some of you getting, this is a confirmation for you. Just put a hashtag, claim it. And um, the goat. Yeah. All right. Lots of love and light. Talk to you later. Hello, Radiant Soul. It's really wonderful to connect with you on this reading for you as we tune into the Akashic Plane to connect in with your soul messages. I hope you're doing well. And I hope this reading resonates with you. You've got judgment here, but I really want you to look at this card. I really meditated on these cards, and it's a very powerful time for you, a very powerful year for you. The timeline shift for you is that You've wrapped up something a long time ago. You probably feel a bit stuck or stagnant. If you're really connecting into this reading, 
you're probably feeling a bit stuck or stagnant or some of you may start feeling movement. The message for you is that there is movement. You've been working with some deep, the depth, deep emotions, density. Now, on a soul level, you have come in this lifetime to transmute dens density. So you have found yourself in a lot of situations when there's been a lot of density, there's been a lot of stuck energy, or energy moves and then it stagnates. Now, some of you could have a lot of earth in your chart, so you're learning how to work within density. And when things are too dense, when things seem stuck, how do you connect into spirit? You have a Ragonite here. This is about moving forward or using density or contrast to move forward. A Ragonite gives you the energy, the stamina to move forward. A Ragonite can transmute things like being misunderstood or feelings of being misunderstood or anger or irritation can transmute more intense and denser vibrational frequency emotions energy in motion to be used but aragonite also frees up now you are freeing up we're going to see why we're going to see why have you been going through what you've been going through i'm just seeing on the akashic that there's been a lot of density there's been a lot that you had to process or that you had to work through, or some of you feel like you had to slog through stuff was taking so long. And for a lot of you, this idea of being misunderstood or not being listened to, heard, acknowledged and understood. You've learned a lot from contrast. They want me to go back to this card and show you. You're becoming unstuck. It's time to become unstuck and to connect in with the soul, your solar nature. Now this is coming from the higher vibrational aspect of you. Your higher self is encoded with this. So you're going to be making decisions that unstick you and move you forward, where you have felt things have been held back from you. A lot of you have been trying to create something or manifest something or you know get in a different line of work or move. There's been some big goals that you've had. Some of you, this is maybe even with your body, that your body hasn't been moving as much or as well. Some of you, this is also, a, a, I'm hearing a sick spell, you know, or a, 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 some kind of illness or condition that that is going to be getting better. So this year, this cycle, you're getting better and better and better. And things are, you're going to see tangible improvement in your life. Now, the stuck on a soul level was for you to go deeper. There was something that you needed to learn. You had to go deeper into your path and process. Oh, the soul is saying for you, working with music, working with sound, working with tone, working with vibration, working with energy. They want you to work with energy. Now, some of you do, your energy healers or Reiki practitioners, you, this is all about you learning how to transmute energy. Now, a lot of you are alchemists. Some of you know you are. Some of you, you know, aren't yet aware of it. You can go in a room and you change the vibration. You change the energy. Some of you, it's by what you see and how you respond to people and situations. You're able to assist. You're able to get in there and go, okay, this is what's going on. This Now, you, they're, <laughs> they're laughing. Okay, their guides are here. You need to do this for yourself also. It's like you can see what helps others or what uns unsticks others or gets people uns other people unstuck. You need to do that for yourself. And they're saying that you do need to cleanse and clear your energy. Some of you, it's your house or where you work. You need to cleanse and clear your energy. Um, and the energy of... The, the house, I just heard the room you're in, the house. Some of you, it could be um, outdoors around you. Um, something that you can do is get, you can easily use a small 
salts, you know, crystals um, to protect, like, um, oh, what I want to say. Or you can get rock salt, you know, rock salt, and put it around your house or apartment or in your around your garden um, as a way to protect, protect energy. So some of you have had, you've come out of an oppressive situation. Some of you had some kind of oppressor. Somebody was oppressing you, whether this is job, career, a boss, a supervisor. Some of you it could be a significant other, or, you know, parent. There's been some kind of oppression. Some of you are leaving a marriage. You're leaving a relationship. You're leaving something that was oppressive. So soul story number three, your story right now is releasing the oppression. The soul is saying time's up. No more oppression. Go where it feels better. Go where it feels lighter. You've put the time in. You've learned how to work through denser vibrational frequency energy. And you have helped to transmute it. A lot of you, that's what you came here to do. You've come here to transmute energy. But the cy that cycle is ending. And they're saying on an Akashic level, don't stay too long. Because you won't have the support. You've been supported through everything that you've gone through. Spirit has been supporting you. But this cycle is starting to end. It's ending. So you don't want to stay too long in situations. I'm going to take this. Um, and that. Okay, and that. Yeah. You're, you're going to be um, this air. Communicating. But a lot of you, this is communicating from the higher self. So you could be channelers, you could be getting divine downloads or just how you write or music or something that you put out there in the world. The other thing I'm also being shown, um, I'm getting guides, I'm getting, I'm connecting into your higher self, but I'm also getting guides, guide work that you need to communicate more with your guides or spirit or God or how, whatever, how universe. They want you to connect more with the spiritual aspect of your being. Then that's going to help you move past anything that feels dense. And what's going to start happening is you're going to be understanding more in your life this year. You're going to be understanding more of where you came from and why and what your gifts are. And that's going to lighten things up. Some of you, this lightness is going to come through communication where you're releasing the need to please or not say your truth because you don't want to offend anybody or you don't want to get in a big drama or you don't want someone to leave or misinterpret you. So there is a lot about clearing the air of misunderstanding, not being listened to, heard, acknowledged and understood. There's this clearing of the air. Now, some of you, this helps too by just walking in nature or driving up a hill, driving up the mountain spending time in nature, you know, just being by the beach where there's wind or air, that helps clear the air. And I'm, I'm reminded this, he's got, his hair is moving like the wind and also her wind. So something's coming in to clear the air. This is on the Akashic level. This timeline shift that's happening for you clears things out. Some things you're not even going to consciously know what happened. You're just going to feel clearer. You're going to feel like, okay, I know what to do. I know what I'm going, what I'm going to say. I know where I'm going. I know what's next. There's a lot clearing the air because the density for you is lifting. There's something about the density lift. Oh, look, it's sun, which is spirit. And I say connecting with spirit. So this, they want you to communicate with spirit. Now, a lot of you could be psychics or psychic mediums or channelers. You may be communicating uh, communicating messages, Mars, force. Yeah, some of you are afraid you're too forceful, and then it shows blessings. So there are blessings coming in for you. The moon, this is the soul, because you're going to be connecting more with your soul, your vibrational frequency of the soul. So look at this, the air element. So there's something you're going to get. Some of you, it could be a great idea that you move forward on, a new direction, or it's just, it could be a new approach, a new way of being. That because you're more in your truth, more in your authenticity, more in alignment to your true needs and wants, this is actually going to bring more blessings in for you. It's going to bring more abundance and more blessings. Um, I want to say this lifetime. That's what I heard, this lifetime this year. So you've been holding yourself back. It's time not to hold yourself back. So there's been enough healing. You've healed a lot. Um, 
there's been enough healing where you're speaking more your truth or you're, or you're knowing when to speak. That's another thing I'm hearing. You know, you're knowing when to speak and when not to speak. Okay. Wow. Okay. I just got a couple messages here from here. Digest. Okay, we're going to take them all. I don't know. Should I? Yeah. Rebirth. Okay. Well, that's fitting in with judgment. Let's take them all. I can always balance. Jupiter under the blessings. Capricorn. Clarify. What did I say? See, you're clarifying a lot. That's because you're able to hear your soul more. See, and as you're really listening, hearing, and acknowledging you, your true you, your true needs, wants, and desires, then other people, it gets ex that gets mirrored out. That gets projected out. So some of you felt too sensitive or you thought you were too sensitive. I'm also getting there could have been digestive issues. Those of you that have digestion issues, that's being healed. That's being handled this year. Um, a lot of you are changing your diet. You're changing your diet of what you take in in your life, whether that's food or media or you're not going to have time. Opposition, confrontation. Yeah, you're clearing the air. That's what I kept feeling. There is going to be some kind of clearing the air with someone or getting more clarity and exploration. Yeah, because a lot of you want to, um, you want to explore and spirit is saying to explore your mind. It's not just about outer exploration with you. So story number two, it's, it's about exploring, um, not just the world or exploring online or through books. It's exploring your own mind exploring what is really right for you, what feels right for you. So when you allow this exploration in your life more, you're going to open up to more abundance. So some of you this year, you're going to be training or studying. Some of you could be teaching about higher knowledge, wisdom, spirituality, the occult, um, psychology. The, the um, I'm getting a lot with you that there's something about changing your life or shifting your life and some of you could be teaching this some of you could be studying there's a lot with higher learning some of you it could be advanced degrees some of you it could be that you're learning something that you're going to use in your life there's a you're learning a new trade or a new skill now this is also telling me that there's going to be a lot of influence with people that are a bit different than you this this coming year and it's part of, it, it, it's to expand your mind. Your soul wants to expand the consciousness of, of the body temple, right? Of the body mind. And so there could be traveling for you, whether overseas or being in touch with people from, maybe it's even online, that international. Um, you could expand your work internationally uh, this this year. I'm hearing this lifetime. I keep hearing on the Akashic, this lifetime. So some of you, this is a different lifetime. You're, you're going to be ma making some kind of departure. I feel like a lot of you could have been holding the space for others or helping others or assisting others. And on a soul level, that mold is being broken. It's like you've learned that already. You've learned how to do that. So for some of you, this opposition is within you. It's to balance the part of you that wants to be out in the world or do something grand or big and the part of you that's comfortable to just be held back or more, you know, within. Some of you, this is going to look like... Um, extending or expanding in relationship where maybe you feel like your partner or your significant other you might be passing them by in some way or achieving more than what they're doing and your soul doesn't want you to stop the higher self is cautioning you from holding yourself back boy that seems to be a message especially as we are in this eight cycle this 44 eight cycle in the collective um, numerology cycle so some of you you're going to be balancing this opposition within and coming to a new understanding of yourself. So something has greatly changed in your life or will this, this year. And this change brings you somehow to a new approach to your life that opens you up more. Now, some of you, this could be a new religion or spirituality or new belief or thought, new way of thinking, 
Um, it's a really good time for you to work with your thoughts, your beliefs, your ideas, and see are they matching where I'm at right now or what I need. I, this could be writers. This could be also getting published. Um, it's definitely putting yourself out there. Now, some of you, this could also be the need to want to do retreats. Now, maybe you're attending retreats. Maybe you're facilitating them. But the idea of connecting into the higher vibrational aspect of you um, is coming through a lot. So there is some kind of breakthrough this um, this year for you also in what you are accomplishing or what you're achieving. So some of you could be a bit more ambitious um, with what it is you want to do. Again, this is, it's interesting. Soul story number one, not the same reading at all, but I, but that Mars energy and sun spirit is, is following those urges or nudges, following where you feel inspired or what opens, what door opens for you. There are going to be, um, for many of you, new doors opening, um, I heard financially and on the career level. So you're going to get the clarity of what the direction is. So those of you that haven't had the clarity on the direction of where you're going or what you're doing, that's coming. Yeah, see, okay, this is the opposition, but you're creating synergy now. You're really going to, um, this is about creative expression, authentic, but it's like where you've been held back in the past, um, let's see if you can see that, right? Where you felt you were held back, it's like, it's like something releases. Again, you get unstuck. Where you felt like out of sorts, I feel you felt out of sorts, or I don't know if I can do this, or I'm not ready, or I don't know, what is it? that I'm getting the message, you felt out of sorts. What does that mean to you? You felt out of sorts. Like things weren't gelling, they weren't happening. You weren't gelling with certain people, or you weren't gelling with people. Some of you thought, oh my God, I'm gonna be alone all my life, or I'm, I'm just destined to be alone, or I'm just to do stuff on my own. Yeah, see, the relationships could be challenging. This is because you're you're getting some kind of m movement, some kind of um, clarity, and it's bringing you a lot of energy. So if you've been felt that you've been more subordinate or to being assisting or to the side, there is this Martian, there's this male energy force. It's power versus force. You're not overly forcing things, but you're using the force or force field, the life force animating energy. You're going to be going where you feel called, you know, where you feel inspired, where you feel like, oh, this is for me or this is what I want to do. So some of you, it is you're you're changing something about your body or how you look or how you dress. It could be getting healthier or you look differently. People are going to notice, oh, wow, what did you do or what happened to you or you know, or, you know, I just heard you're trying to catch a guy or trying to get a girl or something, or you're trying to get a partner, you know, it's, yeah, I think that's going to happen for those of you that are looking for partnership that is here. Um, but it's not the reason it's, it's a byproduct of what you're doing. Okay. We've got bumpy ride. This is for those of you that are in relationship. Again, you're going to get stuck and you're going to be moving forward. Yeah, this is the thing. Don't you, really, you've got to know. This is happening on the Akashic. It's going to happen no matter what. But what's what the message for you is that some people may not go along with you or you may not be as close to certain people Just and you can't put your finger on why. And it's saying, the, release the hardening of your heart, releasing the hardening that happens when we get stuck and we can't move forward and we try and try and try our best and nothing's happening or it's happening very slowly. And you see other people, you know, doing well or things picking up. So you're going to have to be opening your heart again, connecting to the heart and soul, connect back into your soul and as you move forward and it's a new level of your soul's purpose that's coming in so you're going to have a new way of expressing your soul's purpose 
and you're being asked to kind of rise above anything that's petty. I'm just going to put this here. Anything that's petty right now, don't spend time. Now, people might try to get you in to arguments or try to figure things out. And it's like, your soul is going, no, 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 that we don't do that anymore. That's not what we do. So you're going to have to understand, like pick your battles. When do you talk about something? When do you debate or fight or whatever? Because your soul wants you to garner this energy. See this momentum. Your soul doesn't want you getting held down or mired in something. You see that? You guys see that? So it's like... Find ways to rise above this year. Find ways to, okay, this is coming up. Wow, soul story number one got had this, the devil. For you, I feel this has to do with relationships and achievements. So some of you, you might not getting be getting fulfillment in relationship, but you can take that energy and put it into your health, your career, your hobbies, your interests, your creativity, your creative expression. Um, you're busting out this year of what it, what and some of you this is a habit some of you this is a perception um, a way of being in the world it's your schedule maybe you over schedule yourself so you don't have to look at yourself or look at what's missing in your life or you over schedule so you're, you're going to be looking at a lot of 3d stuff i would say within the next some of you three to four months, some of you like six to eight months, depending where on the cycle, or you look at it in the next three to four months and then revisit it. So there's a change in schedule. There's a change in how you, what you do, how you work. And this is all about getting unstuck and for you to some degree freeing up. And that's the aragonite so that you release energy that moves you forward and moves you towards your goals, your dreams. Um, aragonite is a really good stone for getting momentum, for busting through, for becoming unstuck. And it also helps you connect into earthed energies and not feel so stuck by earthed energies, right? Um, just by the color, it, it has a lot to do with manifestation, but also being able to focus. So a I can definitely help you focus. And I'm being shown that you've learned a lot. Got the Hierophant here. Okay, let's see. Ace of Cups, that's the blessings and abundance. You're getting a gift. Knight of Wands. Yeah, you're moving forward. Do you see it, Soul Story? Number two, do you see it? Do you see it? This Soul Story, this message for you on the Akashic level is you're moving forward. And then we've got the Ace of Pentacles, right by Jupiter. Abundance. Some of you, this is a gift. This is a project or a soul gift or talent, a natural talent that you have that now finally starts to pay off. Does that make sense? It starts paying off for you. Or you start using it or utilizing it. Well, okay, give of yourself. This is the time, okay, on the bottom to create. Again, soul story number one got this too. So when you create it from a soul level, whatever that means to you, move into your creative sphere, you're actually going to have more abundance. And then we've got abundance here. What's that Ace of Cups? Let's see what this card is. Ask for help. Yeah. See, you've been giving. I get, I get give from your heart, give from abundance you will be given back to. So some of you, I feel like you were around a lot of takers or people that maybe you gave and they didn't they didn't really get it. But okay, I'm going to just tell you something. So story number two. You're going to be in a position where those that you tried to help or you did help and they really were not um, appreciative, you're not going to have the time towards the end of this year. Some of you, it's in the summer months. You're not going to have the time to help to, to kind of spoon feed people anymore or those that are closest to you. So, and they're going to realize, wow, this person, they really tried to help me or they did help me or they were very inspiring for me. 
So you are moving to a new level and part of it is you've been around other people that have been stuck or stagnant or you've tried to help people that are stuck or stagnant as you're moving forward. You're going to have less time, energy or the ability or the focus um, to do that because you're going, oh my God, look, it's on the bottom. I got to take this. Cutting ties. Yeah. Because your higher self is your vibrational match. The higher self is bringing something better. Yeah, movement. Look at that. Contact people that can help you. And see, you've helped others. Now it's your time to be helped. This is what I get a lot from you. It's your turn to be helped. So you, some of you, you're going to be cutting some ties with people. Um, you're also going to be getting a divine guidance. You're also going to be getting messages of what to do or what direction to go in. Some of you, this could be an idea. Some, some of you, this could be what to follow through on or just nudges. You're going to be connecting. Spirit is going to be very active with you this year, especially in the next three to four months. Those that you are, you know, perhaps pretty psychic, you're going to be even more intuitive or more psychic. Again, this is what your soul is bringing in. And I want to say, I almost feel like there's a heart here. So you're attracting people that can help you move forward or get unstuck and see the potential possibilities in you. And you see, it's much more reciprocity I see this year for you. Um, I feel like whatever this, I don't know why they're not really wanting me to get into it, but a lot of it was like conditioning, condition response patterns, the way you fit into the world. It's like those ties, those condition response patterns are being cut, are being broken. It's like aka cords, what we call energetic cords that hold you in place to certain people and certain beliefs and certain ways of navigating in the world. Um, yeah, are being cut energetically. They're being cut because on the Akashic, it's run out, okay? It's the timing, it's run out. And on the astral, actually. I feel like you stayed too long doing this, if I could be honest with you. You stayed too long in this cycle. You, this cycle has been over, but it's because of the astral. You had a lot of emotional connection with certain people and, and maybe a certain viewpoint, a certain approach. Some of you, it's a certain job. Maybe you took a job for a specific reason that really didn't apply to you or doesn't apply to you anymore. So there is this cutting of the cords that is happening directed by your higher self. There is a cutting of the cords to free you up, to, to help you blossom. I really feel like some of you, it's moving forward. Some of it's just right where you are now and you're blossoming. This is about blossoming. This is about opening. Let's look and see money, finances. So this blossoming is going to bring you the ability to give. Some of you are going to be able to help others. Yeah, look at that toxic work environment. You've, a lot of you, there's toxicity either in a relationship or work where you're working or how you're working. And that's the devil right there. So you're going to be able to move on that, this year. You're going to, you're going to have to follow the opening. Okay, so for some of you, the devil is over. Some of you are trying to overcompensate because you're not getting really what you truly need or want. This is the year to find out what that is because it's causing you to, um, for some of you, overspend or overgive. Okay. Background check. So some of you are getting a new job. Okay. I really want you to look at that cutting ties though. It's okay to move on if something isn't working anymore or isn't serving you because if it's not serving you, it's ultimately not serving that person or that relationship or that job. So some of you, this is the year to move on from something that has you stuck. That's something that has you um, stuck. Yeah. Because some of you are overcompensating. 
Now I'm also getting some of you, this is also about clear your meditation or clearing the air with yourself. And have faith that change is coming. Well, this is a big time for you to have faith in your plans, in your projects. Uh, let's see what else is coming. Detach, yeah. So this, I would look, I'm going to talk about the 8 cycle, 44-8, but this is um, bravery to let go. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to even say what it is because I don't want to influence anybody. I want you to connect into your own higher self. What do you need to detach from? What do you need to allow more space? What do you need to trust that it will be replenished? What do you need to let go? What's toxic right now? What isn't working? For some of you, it's just a, a mindset, okay? Because we've got, it's just a mindset that has to be let go of or an approach that you have towards either work and or relationship. And for some of you, this is, you're opening up more to self-love and more abundance. Again, it's coming. Fresh start, yeah. So you're being given a fresh start. I think whatever it is a lot of you are leaving or you're leaving, Whatever you're leaving, you get a fresh start and you're going to feel <sighs> relief. You're going to feel relief. All right, let's look at the timing. What are any important months for you or time period for you? I just heard the whole year. This is a very important year for you. Okay, April. April, there's a fresh start. Yeah. Have faith. Divine timing is at hand. So you're getting unstuck. This is the year you're getting unstuck. Whatever it is, whatever's toxic, whatever's holding you back, whatever you wish you could have moved on from but you weren't able to, that's happening get any more messages but it's taking time so I almost look like okay around March yeah March April there's some kind of shift and then again in the summertime that free frees you up and I think for some of you, it's just been circumstantial. It's been your circumstances. I want to say here, body, mind, spirit. Something might move in the body. Health gets better. Some of you, it's a move. Some of you, it's mentally, you feel better. You feel less stressed. Some of you, it's your emotional fulfillment. Whatever it is, you are, you are going to be able to move forward um, or get unstuck. Again, it doesn't have to necessarily be... Some of you, it's it's just you've learned a lesson and you're moving on. The Hierophant, you've learned a lesson and you're moving on. And now it's about taking that lesson and parlaying it into wisdom for your, for your life, you know, for your livelihood. But you have a fresh start coming. Zoos. Okay, so just be in nature. Connect into your true nature. Some of you or not really connecting into um, the vibe of things. Does something feel right? So if you connect into what feels right for you, then you're going to move into that space of abundance. And that's really what spirit wants you to do. It's on a soul level. That's the, that's the next step. It's like the next step is much more soul expression and soul experience. And so it's really about you connecting in to your true desires is what I'm hearing. Let's see, soul story number two messages for you. The best approach, let's look at that. The moon, well, I look at the moon as an aspect of the soul, a very important Pluto, I think you had Pluto, but let's look at the moon. Oh, moon in Aries, yep, about you, in the first house, okay. I don't think it gets any clearer. The moon 
in Aries in the first house. Be more centered in self, healthy, selfish, centered in self. Put yourself first in Aries. So there could be changes in the time of Aries around March, end of March, April, where you're making decisions more for you that's better for you. This, you're learning how to put yourself first, put your soul. What did you come here to draw in or manifest or create? It's time now. And to live more from abundance, to not overgive, not overdo. The moon in Aries, you're learning about you, your needs, your true needs, desires, and wants. And how to be in relationship, whether it's job, career, doesn't matter, personal, interpersonal. How do you be in the world, but put yourself first to figure yourself in there? That's a big transformation for you. All right, your Soul Insights mantra is, I am extending as my soul through myself. I'm extending as my soul through myself. I'm extending as my soul through myself. You're extending Pluto rebirth. This is the soul rebirth. This is the rebirth for you, but on a soul level. Oh, I can't get the Pluto up. There we go. This is a big transformation, a year for you, a big shift. Put yourself first. Put yourself first. Understand your need, your true needs, true desires, aragonite. Go for it. There's a lot of love, a lot of fulfillment. There's a lot of validation. There's a lot of increase for you. But you really have to extend in your life more. Extend. That's the message for you. All right. I hope you resonate with this um, reading. And uh, if you do, hashtag claim it. And flowers, do you want pink flowers? And put some flowers, if you're really aligning to this, put flowers or um, what four leaf clover, some kind of foliage, roses, red flowers, pink flowers. Um, yeah, put um, that four leaf clover. Because this is about growth for you. There's something growing in your life yeah it's an aspect of you but this growth is going to manifest with something very emotionally fulfilling and financially fulfilling it could be two different things or one in the same and some of you are moving this year also is the message that i got so really the akashic alignment for you is really letting go of this conditioning cutting things the toxicity out What's not working? I don't know. Is it food? Is it drink? Is it people? Is it the way you relate? The way you look at the world? Whatever. The toxic stuff that's blocked you from your emotional fulfillment of your soul is being released. All right. So much love and light. And uh, if you feel a resonance, uh, love you. Share the video. And um, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And most, most importantly, just shine bright. Hello there. Welcome to your reading. If you chose soul story number three. All right. Okay. So let's connect in. I am feeling a lot of energy from you. Um, you've got Amazonite. But this card, I wasn't actually going to use it. The Aeon, which is another word for judgment. I really want you to look at that womb, cosmic womb. And I just want to pause a little bit here because to really align into the frequency of your soul at this time, a higher vibrational frequency. You had a space in your Akashic records, like a gap. I thought, but now that I see this card, the message I'm getting it was the it was the womb. You've been in this cosmic womb, this divine womb, this cosmic egg or the womb of the earth. 
and you've been birthing yourself. You've been birthing a new version of you and many of you a new vision, if you can see this, new vision of you, new vision and version. All the elements come together this year the gap it's almost like you had a gap year like you took off you may not think that you might be saying oh my god michelle i've worked the hardest i've been doing yeah but on a soul level there was a lot of catching up for you time wise uh timing some of you it's very pivotal time whether chronological time maybe age maybe birth date maybe marriage, divorce, maybe school, university, or leaving or studying something. It doesn't matter. You've been in this like, you know, this chrysalis to some degree, this, this birthing, birthing room within the earth. And so a lot of what you've been doing may seem like it hasn't made a dent because you haven't come out of the egg. You haven't come out of the womb yet. Okay, this year you come out of the womb with a new vision and hope. Okay, this and this is this is destiny. This is your soul's destiny. This this you could not not experience this or do this is what I'm being shown. And I do feel a lot of you have been working other dimensionally maybe planetarily there's been a lot of work in the dreams or dream state and you've really been fashioning this new aspect of you this new part of you that's coming in it's like you're being deconstructed and reconstructed so a lot of you may be feeling like you're rebranding or reinventing or you deconstructed yourself or you deconstructed a very important part of your life or maybe you've had a deconstruction and your beliefs or ideas or your perception or you're like oh god that's not me anymore so the you that you call me is changing because you're getting more into the soul alignment you're very much aligned to your soul and those of you that aren't yet or don't feel you are you will be this year so you have amazonite which has to do with hope which has to do with luck and prosperity it also has to do with heart healing healing the heart and i really these colors are very similar. They really go together. So there is a lot of healing that you've been doing. Now, some of you, this could be physical healing, mental healing, mental emotional healing. Physic it could be all of it. It could be healing from trauma, healing financial, healing from relationships, healing from loss, uh, healing from illness, sickness, healing from whatever, healing from just life or take, needing to take a break. But that has all been working on something within you. Now, some of you, for a small part, you actually are going to have a, a birth of a being. You could find out you're pregnant um, this year and or give birth this year. Some of you are birthing a new job or career or a new direction in your life or a new way of living. That's because there's been changes um, on a deeper level of your ego healing that now you're connecting into the soul you're connecting in really to this raw version of you very open very tender very sensitive some of you may go i don't know really what to do or what direction or you know wh who am i what am i what you know what's my mission what's my message what what am i about yeah because you don't know yet there there's this new there's this new passion or purpose that's coming through to you Okay, there's this birth. And I want to say everything around you in your environment this year has to do with the changes deep within you. These very, what we call chthonic, subconscious, underworld, Plutonian changes. So some of you could have Pluto, in, could have been in Capricorn. There could have been some aspects to Pluto and Capricorn. Saturn and Capricorn also, but definitely Pluto and Capricorn. And you've got Pertho here, one of the runes which is a dice cup, it's destiny. So whatever has been going on in your life has actually been destiny. It has not been you going down a wrong road. Now, maybe in the past, years ago, but whatever you've been going through the last, I don't know, three to six years has been, and for some of you, 20 years, you've been in a 20 year cycle that you're coming out of. It's a long birth. 
but in the time of the soul, in the time of spirit, they're, they're you know, 20 years is nothing. Yeah, mind. Yeah, roots. You've been re, I mean, a lot of you have been healing. Oh my God, Saturn. What did I say? Saturn. Yeah. You've had some Saturn aspects, Pluto and also Saturn. Saturn being like, you're not done yet. It's like, okay, you got to cook longer. And then Libra. So you have a new foundation. Look at that. Roots. This is a new foundation for you that you've been building in the, in the mind. Where you've really, um, this is a lot about freeing up your mind, freeing up for new ideas. Um, really getting out of what has held you back. Okay, let's see. Yeah, what has held you back. But this is, you're not just coming, you're literally creating a new dynamic species of you. A new aspect of you is coming in. You're birthing a new you, a new way of being, a new you, a new aspect of you, a whole new you, more connected to the soul. So this is, this is a transmutation of energy that is transforming you. Um, on a physical level, mental, emotional, physical level, financial level, earthly level. Okay, let's see what we got here. 11th house, friends. Yeah, for one thing, friends are not going to... Because for some of you, they're not going to recognize you. Some of you, you've been making these changes so small, you haven't been talking to anybody, I think. Look at that again. Mercury mind. You're going to be thinking differently. You'll be using your mind a lot more. And then Taurus, I have. Yeah. Yeah, why? Because you're, gonna rec you're recognizing what you have within you that is very special and is very powerful. And you're using that in your life and in the world. And a lot of you are going to be doing something, could be speaking. It's going to be using the throat chakra. Speaking, talking, you know, philosophizing, you know, books, communicating, maybe, I don't know, CDs, MP3s, whatever, albums, putting it on YouTube. There's something that you're going to birth, that you're going to share with the world. And it's, some of you, it's a big project. It's a grand project that's going to bring you quite a bit of money and quite a bit of acclaim is what I'm hearing. And I'm being shown this. So this gap, this time of really going within, and I don't even want to say held back. It's just that, because some of you have been very public. You've been out there in the world. Um, okay, this keeps coming out. We got vibrational match and collective consciousness. So I think Soul Story Number One got those two. Um, it's you're sending out signals that bring in positive new experiences yeah because your signals are going to be changing you're going to be attracting much differently this year is about attracting in a higher vibrational frequency through the higher vibrational aspect of you there is a lot changing for you in your life um, I feel a lot of you are moving into some kind of leadership position leading others maybe a spiritual teacher um, Again, beacon of light. This is about teaching. This is about sharing. This could be mentoring. This could be even recognizing if you do work for other people that you are a leader. Doesn't matter what your official title or role is, you know, with friends or family or in a capacity of a, working for a corporation or a regular job you're going to be very much in touch with your light energy, okay, that you are this light, but wow, okay. All right, I got to go back because the Akashic messages are now streaming through. Thank your lucky stars that you went within, and boom, heaven is rushing to, to give you blessings. Okay, okay, I see it, I see it. Oh, hold on, let me look at the records. You came here to help. Not only a lot of you empath, psychic, you work with either awakening or 
raising consciousness or healing, way shower. I get a lot of star seeds also with this group. Um, you've kind of gone back to your cosmic connection. You've gone back to your other dimensional aspect of you or other dimensional living, maybe on the astral plane, maybe on the um, dreamscape within the dream world, or it seems like that. But yeah, you have been guided back to the stars to refuel and get repositioned to go out there in the world. And you're going to be attracting amazing people. If you have not had enough amazing people in your life, that's changing. People that really get you. And you're going to be seen as this teacher, this leader. You're going to be stepping forward in your field. Now, some of you, it's almost like a veil is lifted where maybe you didn't get the props, right? Maybe you didn't get the acknowledgement. That's changing. Like, wow, you really helped me or thank you. Or I, I see people asking, what do you think I should do? Or what, you know, anyway, you're moving forward in this or outward. It's not even forward because I feel like you're, everything is there within you. It's just, you're, you know, it's like the chicken coming in little chicky, you know, poking on the, um, the eggshell and comes out. So it's like the butterfly out of the chrysalis. A lot of you definitely starseed energy. Pleiadian, Orion, Andromeda, uh, Sirius, uh, some Lyran, but a lot of Sirius, um, Pleiadian energy. All of them. I, I, I'm not going to get into all those. It's like you're going to be connecting also and attracting other star seeds. And they're going to know they're a star seed. You're a star seed. There's not drama. If you've had a lot of drama in your life or drama about relationships, that's going by the wayside or it's probably been winding out. That's probably why you've been in this cocoon. You've been in this womb. You know, you've been in the cosmic womb. Um, you've been in the cosmic egg, the womb of the earth however you want to look at it, the cosmic egg, this, the, you've been birthing. You, there's, a, there's a deep process that has been happening to shift these earth roots, these earthbound roots. Now, er, there's nothing wrong with being earthbound, but you're bringing in this galactic or starseed energy. It, uh, some of you may even be, you know, walk in. It, it, whatever it is, you're bridging. You're bridging these higher vibrational aspect of you, higher mind thinking, with the mind, you're thinking this is more about getting into the higher mind, getting out of duality, getting out of the extremes of polarity, getting into higher consciousness or more expanded consciousness, more understanding and sharing this, teaching this, living from this. A lot of you are attracting some amazing beings and a lot of you are attracting a very, very special relationship. This relationship is really going to free you up. This person yeah, you've never been seen like this before. So again, for some of you, this could be a soulmate, kindred spirit soulmate that, that becomes a life mate. Some of you, this is a turning point in your relationship where you finally get to the next level, the next level with this person, the depth. Should we take all those that just jumped out? Okay, yeah, the past. South node, Saturn. Saturn rules the past. We got Saturn here, right? Yeah, people from the past, past lives. I love this. Wow. Nurturing, Cirrus. This is Ceres. This is healing. Again, some of you, this has been about healing the body. Body, mind, spirit, nurturing self-care some of you work in the care profession healing if you work with others or healing others or helping others yeah see this is a rebirth this is not just um this is not becoming uns this is a rebirth this is a reinvention a rebrand a rebirth of you this is the end of a particular cosmic cycle within your timeline within your soul's path, your soul's journey. This is, something's been completely cleansed or cleaned from your past. Past, 
even if you think, oh, I didn't finish this or I didn't finish that, it doesn't matter. What well, soul contracts ended. This is, and because you move into this trine sextile, the symbiosis, you're moving more into synergy, symbiosis, synchronicity. So the symbiosis is you're attracting kindred spirits, kindred soulmates that are more of the higher vibrational aspect of you. That's why you had to be pulled into this cosmic egg, right? This cosmic womb, this universal womb, this cosmic, it's a cosmic earth egg. It's a, you know, it's an earth womb. Um, or you could say earth egg, whatever, however you want to look at it, it's both. It's a womb and it's an egg, but it's cosmic, it's universal, it's earth, it's all of it, because this is about you birthing this new, this you on um, on earth. And I almost feel like you look in a mirror and you walk through it and you're a different person, but it's more you. It's the you, it, it, very much the starseed galactic you. It's very much the advanced, you're getting the advanced version of you. But now you're starting to attract people that either honor that and recognize that or are that also. So you're going to be attracting more people that are like you. And why? It's time to connect with them and collaborate. You're part of the great, the gathering. So you're actually going to thank your lucky stars. You're really going to be thankful to God, the universe, your higher self, spirit, whatever, you know, belief, all of the above. Because... You were kept out of some things. You had to shift in order to attract this next level. You had to shift. You had to go into this um, vibrational up-leveling machine, cosmic egg, and again, create. So there is, a, and it's also going to bring a fresh start. So there, there, I'm getting this, the readings, and I knew this because we are in a 44-8 cycle. The soul is all about creativity and expression. It's about self-expression. So we're to be more self-expressive. That's why all these apps came out. That's why the iPhone. That's why, you know, all of these. Um, what's the other phone? iPhone. What's the other one? I can't think of it because I don't have it. Android what phone. Um, because this is about soul expression. We're moving into the timeline of the soul. We're getting out of the egoic, the lower level, the conditioning, the, the false ego self, right? The disowned self. And that this is why eventually this is just going to be, we're going to be creating much more. Pause. Yeah, you were put on a pause. You were put on a pausey. Check in. Some of you, this is checking in with someone in your life. Make sure you keep check in with your, especially as your actually friends and family, especially as things get faster. Yeah, you're going to be moving out more. You're going to be that beacon of light. People are going to notice you. Have faith. Through my faith, I see the light. Allow the changes, okay? Allow the changes after the pause. Allow the pause. Check in with yourself and then move forward because you're creating a fresh start that's gonna allow you to be much more creative, more soul expressed. You're gonna be drawing in creative people. There's a lot to do with collaboration. And some of you that even work for other people or another job, you're doing something else on the side. It's a project. There's something that you're creating on the side also. Side hustle, side gig. But a lot of you, this is complete change of circumstances. So if you have been wanting to change job, career, where you live or how you live, that happens in 2024. Some of you, it's the middle. Well, we're going to look at timing. But yeah, you're, you're going to be living much more connected to your soul and your heart. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. You've got some amazing change coming up. Let's see what we've got here. Any messages? Soul story number three. I cannot believe this was on the bottom. Soul story number two got this, I guess, cutting ties. I don't totally feel, I feel like you might have wound out of certain people the last, for some five, six years, some people 10 years. Um, yeah, look at that, manifesting your brilliance. You have the power to manifest whatever you want. 
and this year is going to prove it to you. Flexibility. And you have to be flexible because now the soul is taking over, which means that some of the things that you wanted on an ego level or from wounding aren't going to be happening. Oh my God, great match, see? A warm up follows. Yeah, you've been on a freeze. Let's just say it. You've been kind of not stalled, but in magic, you have the power to attract what you want. And you're going to create a match, a great match. This, whether this is work or business or a love relationship, I mean, they're all love, but you know what I mean. Significant other, partner, marriage. You're on the verge of attracting that. You, you are starting to attract what is more in alignment with your soul, what's more fun, fulfilling, prosperous, just the right amount of learning, that it's fun for you to figure things out. You are moving out of that cosmic egg. You're moving out of that egg. You're coming out of that earth womb, earth egg. And you are, uh, it's, it's almost like a breakthrough that's coming. You have been birthing yourself and you've been birthing the wherewithal of a new life. This is a lot about a new life unfolding for you. Okay, let's see any, what months are important for you this year. Anything come up with the months? Ooh, next couple of days. Ooh, look at that. It's time to move forward. Yeah, act on those things that you really want to do. Next couple of days, from whenever you watch this video, it's timeless. Next couple of days, a lot gets done. I think you're going to be, a lot of you are birthing, even in the next couple of days. This is quick, or you're starting to come out more and more. Okay, this is an immediate opening. Let's see, any other thing? Any other timing message? Think of timing of something you want to know. Someone just shot me a thought there. What is it that you want to know? Nine months from now, birth. So this tells me, I know birth is like nine or ten months, but this tells me nine months from now, things are so greatly changed in your life. So greatly changed. That's the cycle of birth, right? We say the gestation period. So, so you might be still a little bit in the cocoony, you know, in the, in the, um, you know, maybe one little arm is out or one little hand is out. Again, you've got South Node and you've got Saturn here. So it's, it, this is not like a quick pop. It's whatever you're creating as you're getting more and more out of that cosmic wound. Um, whoa. It's just taking time, but look at this. I knew it, vacation, yeah. Some of you are gonna be going somewhere. And I wanna say you're going in the winter months, so whenever that is for you. Training. Some of you are getting a new job. It's gonna require some kind of training, online training. Some of you, it's in-person training with a specific person, and look at this. Saving money. Yeah, lots growing for you. Be able to save money and job offer. Yeah. So again, you're moving into this increase, but I feel like you're going to be like, wow, I'm, I know why I had to go through what I went through. And it all makes sense now. It makes sense to me why I'm going through what I'm going through, why I had to go through this. Okay, let's see what... Um, was that okay so let me just see if any places are especially auspicious for you any places for soul story number three whoa that are auspicious these places that are auspicious any places that are inspiring for you okay you're that beacon of light the lighthouse that goes with that beacon of light so um, just know that you are this light, this beacon of light, and others are going to see your light, even if they're not quote unquote spiritual or you don't think they are. You know, this could be people just coming up to you saying, Wow, what do you do? or just starting to talk to you. I feel people are going to be very curious about you, 
and very enthralled with you. So you're really just you're going to be shining. You're definitely going to be shining this year. This is this is your shine. Time to shine. And take that trip. There's a trip coming up that you're thinking about. Take the trip. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to ask the Astro Dice best approach for you in this cycle. Oh, Pluto. Yeah, changes it. Okay, you've got, I love this. Pluto, Pluto. And you had Pluto over here, remember? Pluto in Libra in the 10th house. Oh, why did that? Now that changed to Neptune, okay. All right, two messages, gang, for 10th house. You had Pluto and Libra in the 10th, and then you had, now you have Pluto, or now you have um, Neptune and Libra in the 10th. So what this is telling me is transformation in collaboration or business or whoever you work with. You're up-leveling yourself. You're up-leveling your game. You're up-leveling what you put out there in the world, what you create, what you share, how you show up, and now there's an up-leveling for you in your business relationships. And there's up-leveling in your destiny. This cosmic egg that you've been in, uh, this earth womb, cosmic womb, earth womb, all of it, um, has prepared you for a next level. And you're going to be very picky about who's around you. You're just, you know, there's a different you that's coming in. But you're going to be collaborating with a higher vibrational match. They're going to help you raise your game, you know, get better at what you do. So Pluto, a lot of up-leveling. Neptune brings you into more idealism, following your goals, your dreams, dreaming big, following through. Some of these plans, these projects that you've had, some of you it's multiple projects, you're now going to be able to focus on and put out there in the world. Um, some of you, this is a up-leveling in a job. There's a job offer where I feel like it has to do with you being some kind of expert or being hired at a new level. Okay, so your Soul Insights mantra is I've leveled up. I'm now manifesting at a higher vibrational soul level. Stamp. All right, uh, put a hashtag, claim it. Hashtag, claim it. Um, if you feel a resonance with this reading, um, and put some of the things you want to connect with. Maybe a little, that dollar, that money pouch, love, health. You could put the namaste for being in alignment. But really claim it. This, this, this you've shifted. There's a lot that's been let go of um, for you this year. So really step in and embody that higher vibrational frequency you. All right, so lights, um, I'll see you in another reading. Lots of love and light. Hello, so light. If you chose soul story number four, this is your reading. You've got turquoise or turquoise. Wow. Karma, 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 karma. Wow. Powerful. You are relaying or transmitting what you have accrued, what you have been building in your life. You see that infinity? When you turn it vertical, it's the higher and lower self. As infinity... It's also as above is so below, but it, it is infinity. It, it is the path of the soul. It's elliptical, right? You have been traveling very long on your path. There's, there's a lot you have been focused on and maybe had to rehash or redo. There's been a lot of redoing or re-over. Some of you, it's overthinking. Some of you, it's that you've had to redo something in your life. Maybe you had to start over. But what, it, what this is telling me, though, what I see on the Akashic and with that 11 is you're moving into a cycle of payoff or payouts. 
whatever you've been working on is about to pay off for you or there's about to be some kind of payout. Uh, for some of you, it is showing contracts. It's also showing legal dealings, perhaps even going in your favor. Now on the Akashic level, this is the level of where you have put work, time, energy, and focus is now paying off. There's some new direction for you. Some of you, this has also been changes that you've made in your life that are now paying off. This could be changes in relationship, how you relate, uh, who you relate to, you know, what's most important to you in your life. That's been, that's changed. So some of you, this is manifesting as an up leveling. Uh, for some of you, this is manifesting as just a restructuring of your life. Um, or what you focused on. So some of you got really serious about something or really focused about something in your life. Whatever it is, it's starting to have a payoff. Let's see this here. Desire. I think a lot of you are connecting more with the desire body. You had to burn off some karma. There was some soul contracts or things that you were tied to on this earth plane, whether people, jobs, financial re responsibilities, there's been a lot of responsibilities and obligations that you've had to focus on. So now some of your true desires are going to be coming through. Okay, I don't know if I want to take all those. Let's see, let's, well. Well, that wanted to come out. Yeah, a lot of healing. Healing of the past. Past relationships. Okay, those keep wanting to come out. I don't know what they are. Chiron. So you've been healing a lot about the self. A lot of you, this has been healing in family. Family of origin. Ancestral healing. Uh, some of you, this has been healing about relationships. Your relationship to other people, to yourself, to your body for some of you. Okay, life's purpose, North Node. Okay, let's see what we got here. I believe, well, I just heard I believe I deserve the best. I deserve, I deserve better. So yeah, you, the healing, yeah, I deserve better. And then what did, what did we get here? Second house, owning. A lot of you this year are growing up. You're growing up into how you handle the earth plane or, or finance or money or your resources or seeing yourself more as a resource. Also seeing your gifts. There's a lot about self-worth, self-esteem. I feel like the playing field, field is leveling up for you where you might have felt like you were not included or invited to something or you didn't fit in. That's changing. Look at that Jupiter abundance. Wow. And for many people, this year is going to be quite amazing if you use the energy wisely. So if you've been struggling or haven't been doing well financially, that's going to be changing. And I feel like the abundance for you is also recognizing the abundant nature of the universe and therefore you. That it's an abundant world, an abundant universe. That, that spirit, when you tap into spiritual energy, God, the life force energy, that it's abundant. That there is this abundance. So a lot of you are getting out of a kind of a limiting mindset that maybe came from, you know, family or ancestors or, you know, society. You know, you're just kind of letting go of that. You've been working on it, though. Now... You came here to shift patterns, okay? So that's part of what you've been doing here and what you do do is you shift pattern patterns. Now, this card's come up a couple times. Don't allow the situation to make you... Yeah, you have freedom now. You're going to have freedom. You're going to have freedom to choose now. You didn't have the choice before. So this is rising above what is petty and moving on or moving forward on your life at this time. You've completed something, some obligation or responsibility or an old way of looking at things. And you're moving more into that shining star that you are, where you're putting yourself first. That seems to be kind of a reoccurring theme with this. 
for people. Well, let me move this. Oh, I knocked this over. Sorry about that. There seems to be a reoccurring theme. Well, there's a few themes, but because when we look at the soul, we look at themes. We incarnate with only a few learning lessons. So your learning lesson has been to put in the time, the hard work, the energy, the focus, and now it's paying off. So many of you are just kind of learning how to do this earth thing. One of the things your guides want you to do is to visualize, is to connect in more to the vision of your soul, of your higher self. Connect into what, what feels heart connecting for you, emotionally fulfilling. So by you connecting into your new vision or the vision that's coming in or reconnecting to that vision and seeing and feeling yourself healed, like in other words, I can move forward. Um, I'm also hearing on the Akashic, you're going to be able to do different ways of your life purpose. Like maybe you had a very narrow view of what your life purpose was or how to um, manifest or live from your life purpose. Okay, so th something's changing about your focus in life. And the big thing that I see on the Akashic and the Akashic records is that you've completed a major learning lesson, a major cycle. And this cycle could have been having a lot of responsibility, maybe feeling a little dragged down or held back, or just like you had burdens or encumbrances, whether it's, you know, through obligations or responsibilities or knowing more, maybe being more wise or more honest or more, more integrity or seeing things that other people didn't see or just having obligations or responsibilities. However it manifested for you, you have this in your, what I call spiritual bank account now, that you've accrued a lot of, you know, for lack of a better phrase, good karma. You've accrued a lot that's going to be kind of a cushion for you going forward. This cushion is going to cushion you through the upcoming changes where you're going to be making some decisions. You have some decisions that are coming up in your life. And um, Spirit wants you to investigate these decisions, to, to not look lightly, to really connect in on a soul level. Is this really for me? Is this really what I want? Is this supportive of me on my path? Okay, because this is time, there's a lot of, this is time for you. There's a lot of abundance being released for you. I don't know if I'm going to take all of these. Well, okay, just quickly. So you're going to be reviewing. That's the investigation. Look at the past. Look at what you've completed. Look at where you are now. Okay, for some of you, there's a deepening in a relationship or new relationship. This could be partnership. Some of you, this could be working differently. You may be wanting to work more group or maybe you're working more one-on-one. -on -one. Um, relationships are going to be very highlighted. Now, this could also be customers and client relationships that are highlighted this year. Okay, the activation. Rising star. And we've got the root. The IC. Yeah, this is clearing. Like I said, you've healed a lot. Some of you, it's been the mother wound, the, the wounding of mothering and being taken care of. Oh my God, you've got all these. Okay. Saturn structure. Fourth house, home. Yeah, healing past the home. Healing early childhood stuff, family of origin, societal stuff, could be ancestral. But you have a new... Um, foundation within you and then it's changed your thoughts palace Athena you might connect in with owls um, so a lot has changed with you with your the way you think and some of you are going wow I was really conditioned or I bought into that or I went to school and this is what I learned but now I don't believe that anymore or I'm changing my beliefs so there's a lot of change for you. There's a lot of change for you this year in your beliefs, your approach to life, a different perspective. Um, you're really freeing up. There's been a lot of deep healing, but you came in to do this. This is what it's showing on the Akashic. In the Akashic records, you came in to help shift the earth patterns, you know, or earth, what the patterns since the beginning of time were created, Saturn. And, and to understand structure, manifestation and structure differently, to have that flexibility within this, within structure. 
So you're changing your very own structure, your narrative, your story is changing, and you're going to help other people do that. Maybe you do that already. So there are going to be changes also this year in the home. This could bring in a new home for you or a new sense of home on the earth plane, a new sense of home and well-being uh, within your body, a new sense of home within the universe. So there is something about you coming home, and perhaps for some of you it's really about coming home to yourself. What I'm also being shown is that this new sense of inner connection that you have because you're focusing more on you and what's right for you and they're starting to let go of what no longer fits in or, you're, or it's leaving you, winding out of your life, you're moving more towards the North Node. You're moving towards that North Star. And there will be other people, new people that join in with you. Some of you, this is on a work level. You could be working with different people or some of you could get hired or a contract to work with a specific company or specific group or to partner with someone. There could be this idea of uh, collaboration. But Spirit is saying, please check the fine print. Make sure it's really a match for you because the right person and right situation is coming for you, will be there. It is, it is deemed so on the Akashic. So you don't have to rush. That is one of the things that I'm hearing. You don't have to rush to, to create these um, openings and opportunities. They, they will be presented on your path as you're freeing up from this deeper healing. You're coming from a place of more wholeness. And so that's what you're attracting also, this wholeness with other people. Yeah, take time to renew and recharge with whatever it is that you're doing. And this is you figuring in. You're going to be working somehow differently. Now, some of you, there is a heart healing I'm hearing. This could be very often, it seems like it's within an existing relationship. I feel like there's some type of heart healing or some kind of healing within an existing relationship. Freedom. Well, you've got freedom. Didn't you have it twice? I thought I saw something else that said freedom to choose. Yeah, freedom of choice. Yeah, you need, you're going to have more flexibility. You, spirit doesn't want you locked in. Your soul wants to roam. Your soul wants more flexibility at this time because it's going to bring opportunity. Ah, I see. Don't get locked into something. Be very oh, careful the first half of this year, power position, what you align, who or what you align yourself to. You need to have freedom to choose because I feel for you, what I'm being shown is things getting better and better and better. So more and more ideal. This could be, you might want to jump at a particular job, but then you hold out and then a similar job or a job, the same job at a different company comes in and they pay more. So um, that's just an example. That's not a prediction. But what is a prediction is that your manifestations, your life experience is getting better and better. So you're refining something within you and this refinement is causing the openings and opportunities for you to get better, more increase, peachier, more aligned. Um, gosh, I don't know, more fun, more money, more, more connection, more emotional fulfillment. So your particular guides are saying, do not jump in. And that's the message from the higher self also, your higher, which is you is saying, don't the ego you don't jump in feel it out, let it, let things unfold or play out. If, if it all seems to line up, just then just go for it, jump in the Jupiter abundance. This is telling me you're having a new opportunity. There's something that comes in that brings quite a bit of money. This could be more revenue streams. Um, with this Libra energy, there's a lot of cooperation. This could be more multiple revenue streams. This could be a new job. Um, this could be addition to something that you're doing already that expands your career or job position. So there is a level of expansion for you in the material realm. Uh, so a lot of your um, changes are happening on the material realm. It's not just, oh, I feel better. I feel more aligned. Um, what I see for you is a lot of what's coming in are physical manifestations, feeling better, health better, body better looking better, you know, eating better, um, feeling better, 
it's tangible results. So if you're feeling better, then your body is in better shape and that's noticeable to people. Uh, for some of you, there could be changes in dress, colors, hair, hairstyle. Somebody grows a beard, somebody cuts a beard, you know, or shaves a beard. Um, th but also I feel that these are changes in home, house, um, there could be buying a property, owning something, or a long lease for a property that you didn't think you could afford. Um, this is also accruing more money in the bank. Some of you, this is also digital currency, Bitcoin. So again, this is an increase in the tangible material plane, in the financial sector for a lot of you. There's changes financially. What other messages are there here? What is this? Resolution. You're going to be able to resolve any issues. You're going to come to a peaceful, productive resolution that detaches you from what has held you back in the past. Any commitments. You're going to be freed up from any commitments or where you feel that you've been overcommitted. There it is. Break free. What did I say? Free. Freedom. This year, the theme for you is freedom, freedom to choose, freedom to say no, freedom to say yes, freedom to break free of the karmic entanglements of what's overly, what you feel now is overly burden you. Now, one of the things I'm hearing from your guides and your higher self right by my left side are saying, remember some of the things you now feel are burdens you joyfully went into. You wanted to learn, you wanted to work this way, you wanted to share, you wanted to move in a certain place or have a certain income. So some of these things, it's just that you've outgrown them. You don't, you're not identifying as much with the material plane or status anymore. You wanna free up, you wanna free up. A lot of you are, are scaling down or you're selling homes and buying one home or buying property and, you know, I get a lot with you with property and money and finance and some of you are going to be creating the property of your dream or the home on the property, the home of your dream. Some of you, it's, um, you need to have compassion for where you were and where you are now. Have compassion for yourself. Some of you are creating some kind of, um, I don't know, where you have multiple homes and multi, maybe multiple family members live there or friends or family. It could be like a community and it's time for the changes. Yeah. So you've put in the time, you've put in the karma. Um, I'm very much hearing on a soul level, this is meant to be. And for you to tell the little self, the little you, I worked hard for this. I worked for this. You're not getting handed anything from spirit. This is the break, everything that you're getting, you deserve and you've put in the time, the energy, and also you're more aligned to your soul. So you're not getting stuff because, oh, you know, lucky me, you've put in a lot of hard work, time and effort. Let's look at finance, what's coming up financially or in the material plane. So keep connected to your spirit, your spiritual path, your spirituality, your sense of faith, um, because that is also fueling you and that's keeping you aligned, but you are freeing up freedom, freedom to take that vacation, freedom to save money. You're going to have a cushion, a nest egg. You've worked hard. You deserve it. You're also getting insurance or some kind of benefits. I'm just being shown growth. There it is. Soul story number three, you are growing or four, sorry. Soul story number four, maybe soul story number three has some messages. I don't know. Benefits. Yeah. Some of you are getting a new job that pays benefits, or if you work for yourself, you're going to have enough money to have the insurance and other things and also be able to save money and also be able to take a vacation. A lot of you haven't taken a vacation in a long time. That's coming. You're going to be traveling. Yes. Yeah, selling. Some of you are selling. Are you selling a business, a home? stuff. Some of you are selling stuff to lighten up. That's also the message here is lighten up. If you don't need it, get rid of it because new stuff is being brought to you. Okay. All right. Let's get timing. What months are important or are there important months for soul story? Number four. Anything? Okay. Let's see. That's it. 
January, okay, the 15th. Well, this month could be important, this reading, if you're getting that. Or next January, well, next January, because next winter. A lot of you are moving someplace. It could be chilly, could be kind of cold, or you're moving in the winter time, because I'm getting this. Or you're going to travel someplace in the winter, and then you're going to end up moving there. Next month, things picking up, looking better and better. Financially picking up next month. And tomorrow, wow, so whenever you see this video, the next day looks good. Okay, so January and next year, a lot of you is when the bigger changes or big breakthrough happens. Like I said, you're deconstructing now, you're winding out of things, you're moving, you know, you're leaving this karmic cycle. And let's see, any other thing. And next month looks good. And tomorrow looks good, so you probably wake up Sometime in the day, there is some, okay, that's it. I'm not getting any more messages. Okay, I'm not getting any more messages. I don't want to push it. I don't want to push it. Okay, so that's it. Let's connect in through the, oh, let's look at any places. Let's see places that inspire you or places that are go-to. If you want to meet someone or connect with someone or you just want to feel better, any places that are coming through for soul story. Okay, you're definitely going to be traveling. So some of you are meeting someone abroad or while you're traveling, or it could be a local vacation. But you're definitely going to be traveling this year. Yeah, be out and about. Farmers markets, bazaars, flea markets. Um, your soul loves being around people, even if you're not talking to them. So you're going to be around the hustle and bustle. I'm also hearing to tell you that you're also going to be out and about more and hustling and bustling more. I feel like, especially as the, the weather gets warmer, you're going to be more out. Childhood reflection. Well, that's the thinking place. of. Re so some of you could be going back to a childhood home or selling a childhood home, or there could be this year, for some of you, there is a um, inheritance coming to you, maybe a home, something that you're inheriting or being given to, or some of you are buying this home, childhood home, or a home that reminds you of your childhood or you're going back to that home. This is also telling me that places like a park or places that you feel um, a strong connection to or good for you to go to to recharge the other thing that I am being shown right now is that it's important for you to get out and even if it's chilly bundle up if you can or get out or go for a drive or go for a walk um, especially in the fall winter times it will make you feel better um, it does show me that also a lot of your bigger changes are coming in the fall winter months fall, winter, and into the beginning of the following year. So there's a lot of creativity. There's a lot of building. There's a lot of kind of bridging and transition that you're in right now with things getting better and better and better and better. There is this increase um, that is coming for you. Well, that is happening, not coming for you. It's there. It's, it's, you're drawing it in by what you're doing also on a daily basis. All right, let's see what perspective for soul story number four, for this soul story, with what you're going through. Sagittarius. Expand your mind, the moon. So you got the moon in Sagittarius. Let's see what house, the fifth house, travel, creativity. Again, I feel for some of you, there could be some kind of... Um, connection or relationship, maybe long distance relationship, a relationship from another town, another city, another state. For some of you it could be overseas. Some of you could be buying something overseas or in another city, state, or country. Um, there is going to be also people that are different than you. You're going to be expanding your horizons. Um, yeah, cultural melting pot. See, that you're going to be around different people. So some of you, this is traveling or living someplace else. Some of you, it's in your own backyard where you're going to start going. Um, could be a market or fleet, something where you, there's a lot of tourists there. 
lot of different people. I'm getting a very international vibe with this group. But if some of you, it's, it's traveling, or maybe I'm picking up on people that live overseas or international. That could be that, but it could be also that you find yourself in an area where a lot of international people are, or there's a lot of hustle and bustle, or people in and out, or tourists, people traveling. Basically for you, there's a lot that starts picking up. And again, this, this year is about the growth in different parts of your life. So what has been deficient um, is now, you know, filling up where you feel there's been deficiency in your life or loss or there hasn't been growth. The growth is coming in. All right, so light, I'm going to go to the next reading, but I've really enjoyed tuning in for you um, and seeing this overview. What's the theme for you? Just remember to have compassion for yourself at this time for where you're at, that you're freeing up, you're breaking free. And also the theme, compassion, breaking free, freedom to choose, freedom to choose at a different, you know, different direction, freedom to say yes, freedom to say no, financial freedom. Freedom is a big theme and message for you on your soul your soul wants the freedom to grow to expand to do different things um, the freedom that comes from financial prosperity and abundance in your life hashtag claim it if you feel a resonance with this reading and i do hope to see you in another reading lots of love and light prosperity and abundance to you Hello, Soul Light. If you chose Soul Story number five, this is your reading. You chose the mystery card, as well as blue lace agate, which is for healing and peace. You have, um, well, it's amazing. You have really overcome something in your life this lifetime. And many of you, it's been a long journey. It's been a lot going on in your life. Uh, personally and professionally there's just been a lot going on for you this card the the mystery has to do with karma karmic completions culminations it has to do with creating on a new level a new soul level birthing a new aspect of the soul but also a new soul level coming in this means that you're reaching more of your soul on this dimension on this earth plane this is life unfolding and we remember that the center point of what we create and we manifest comes from spirit. There may not be a lot that you know. You're at a whole new level, a whole new beginning starting this year. This year is a lot about change for you. And you've got the blue lace agate, which has a lot to do with calm, peace and calm. This would be a great stone for you to meditate on or have for some of you in your office or where you work, and for a lot of you, I would say, also in your room, wherever you sleep. And you can see here, the kind of, the colors are kind of similar. There's this violet, light purple in through here. So you're being very guided by spirit at this time. This, for some of you, this is, I get two soul groups. I get a, a long, this is a new incarnation for you, or a lot of you haven't been on the earth plane a lot. For some of you, this has been a lot of learning lessons this lifetime. And now you're, there's been a cleansing and a clearing, and you know so much more. You're wise, but yet you're also very sensitive and very open. So I get a lot about new beginnings, what I'm seeing on the Akash for you. What has happened with many of you is your timelines have merged. So you're going to start having what we call bleed through. You're going to start having experiences or information from other lifetimes or other dimensional aspects of you. You're going to be very open. Those of you that are cosmically connected or connected to other planetary uh, lives or lifetimes, that information is going to come through. So there's a lot about new information coming for you to support you at this time on your path. Um, the support will also come by certain people in certain circumstances and experiences. Many of you are going to feel like you're lifted out of something, something that's perhaps weighed you down or weighed heavy on your mind or that you've been heavy hearted about. 
Um, you've overcome a lot this lifetime. You've come in to really help transform yourself and the world. You work a lot energetically through transmutation. Some of you, this is through energy work. Some of you, this is through different forms of vision, um, visualizing, uh, visualization, of, you know, working with the etheric plane and mental realm. Some of you, this is also transmuting energy through the body, working through transformation. Um, some of you, this is also um, deep healing work, whether you've done on yourself or others. Um, a lot of you are going to be opening up to deeper healing work um, at this time in your life also. Now, you're coming into a crossroads or a turning point. Now, if I'm hearing to tell you, because what I'm being shown on the Akashic is this is really like a fresh start. If you feel a bit disorientated, especially the first you know, three to six months uh, within this the year, the first, you know, quarter to half a year, that's because you're coming in contact with other aspects of yourself that you haven't been in contact with. Now, this is a polarity I'm going to, to show you. Um, we've got the card here. Oh, analyze. Analyze and visualize. So your ability to see what isn't working or what is blocking or stopping yourself or someone is very great at this time. Revolution, yeah, that's it. You've, you're, you're having your own inner revolution this year. Aquarius, I know, yeah, you have a lot of wisdom. Now, I want you to pay attention to this. You transform, you've got the Scorpio the Taurus Scorpio axis and I have. So what you're going to be doing is getting more in touch with your soul gifts, your abilities, your natural abilities, your soul gifts. Some of you, this is through certain teachers or mentors you've been working with, certain people, maybe even certain readings, something that you've read, something with your own guides. Um, get mentorship would be good for you. Whether you, Some of you could be mentoring someone, but I also feel like this year you may even be being mentored or uh, taught uh, certain ways or the old ways. Um, this is going to bring out your gifts. This is all about you engaging more the magic and mystery of life and really connecting into the alchemical process of cleansing, clearing, transmuting energy to create. So you're going to be looking a lot at your life and what's around you and where you can improve, how you can help things better. Some of you also do this for others or that's part of your that's part of your gift. Now some of you do this in a business sense, some of you do this in a mental sense, a mental emotional, some of you spiritual, psychic. Um, some of you through patterns or repatterning. Um, anything like that is good for you to receive also. Anything with repatterning or hypnotherapy, um, transpersonal work, trans working within the energetic matrix of you so that you are connecting more to the soul design or soul matrix of you. There's a real pull and call for you to connect in deeper to your soul. Now, a lot of you are going to be doing that this year, and you're not particularly going to know on an ego level what you're doing or where you're going. You're just going to kind of show up, or you're going to have these great ideas and then act upon them. So for some of you, the ability to analyze or overanalyze is going to be gone the ability to overthink things, um, you know, to, the, the overanalyzing, yeah, I keep hearing, is gone. But you will still be able to analyze because a lot of you are really good at that. A lot of you are really good troubleshooters. But you're getting more in touch with the magic and mystery of life, aligned with wholeness. Yeah, soul expression. The, the, again, some of the things that you learn or that you conceive of or think of, you're not necessarily going to have a rational reason for this. You're not going to rationally know, why am I thinking this? So a lot of you, your psychic ability, your ability to channel is really going to extend or expand your ability to connect in with what's right for you, um, your body, what's right for your body, what's right for your mind, what's right for your life. A lot of you are going to be moving more into working with the psychic realms. Yeah, see, expansion. You're getting out of your own way. You're moving up to a higher level of awareness because your vibrational frequency is shifting. So 
there we go, freedom for soul expression. So a lot of you are going to be less encumbered by the ego or conditioning or I'm supposed to or I have to. If you're an artist, this is really going to open you up or you have great ideas or you want to invent something or innovate something. You're aligning more with the wholeness, the whole truth of you. There's a level of integrity that you have not yet um, experienced. Now, any of you that are having some kind of health issues, you're going to recognize you're not your symptoms. You're not your illnesses. You're not your conditions. You're not your life circumstances. You're beyond that. And you connecting with that energy beyond that opens up opportunities, particularly on the astral and Akashic level. Okay, so you're going to be almost like you're meeting people in the dream world or dream state or astral plane or you're, you're beaming people and they're beaming you on the spirit realm, in the etheric, right? And then you're going to meet them. So this is going to give you a lot more mobility and a lot of freedom, freedom to make the choices that you want. Now, what it's also going to do is it's for some of you, it's going to, to some degree, kind of pit you not against, but put, you're going to see your choices as different as to some people in your life. You're going to start noticing more of the differences. Why? Because you're connecting more on a soul level. So you're going to start seeing, oh, I think a little bit differently, or I have different needs, or I have different wants um, than, you know, my friend, my husband, my wife, my, my girlfriend, my boyfriend, my significant, my person, or my friends, or my parents. Oh, I have different values. But it's not this is very a very your Aquarian energy. Um, it's not that you are meant to distance yourself from people that have different values. It's to see how you can collaborate or work together. Now, some of you, this may be different skill sets. And now again, it's not people that, oh, you're so your values are so different that you don't get along or it's harmful. It's like if you're pairing up with somebody and let's say you're very artistic or very creative or you're the big thinker, you're, you're thinking big picture, you might be paired with somebody that is looking at things step by step or how to maintain something or how you want to scale up but they're saying, oh, you have to do steps one through ten first or three and six, three to six first or you have to do step seven. Do you see what I'm saying? So. You're going to start getting paired with people that are more complementary to you, that you're feeling that there's much more, you know, ultimately like a collaboration. Yeah, that collaboration is about cross-pollinating, getting out of your little circle, getting out of the small I or the small we, getting into seeing the big picture. So a lot of your dreams, your goals, your desires, you're going to be finding the people, the support, the, the resources to to help you. Oh, I just said resources and got resources here. Second house. And you're a great resource. A lot of you have a lot of abilities, a lot of talents, and so it's about putting those to work. And we've got Mercury for messages here. And I think I said something about confrontation there. Yeah, you're, this is all about you aligning to a, a level, a new level of wholeness that you have not experienced in your life because you're accessing a fuller part of you. You're accessing more of your soul and you're accessing more of this soul design or soul matrix. So for some of you, you're going to be making different decisions in your life. There's a much, you know, there's, a, there's not only an up leveling, but there's a lot that's new because you can't prefab things. You can't prethink things right now. You're going to have to just go with your gut knowing, your intuition. Some of you, this means that there's going to be a lot of expansion. There's going to be a lot of openings, a lot of opportunities. And you're not going to have time to overthink it and strategize and plan. You're just going to really have to be going with the flow as well as your own inner knowing, moving into gnosis, right? This is the ability to just know because you know. You know on a psychic level, an intuitive level, you know at the level of the higher self. So it's, some of you are already doing this. This is just a confirmation for you. And this is actually going to revolutionize your life. This is going to bring a part of your life that's ending, 
or winding out or winding down so that you can go in a new direction. This is all about the soul wanting more expansion and expression, more expression in this time. And this is also going to bring, for some of you, this does bring um, emotional fulfillment in work. You're going to feel much more fulfilled. Some of you, this is also bringing some, again, financial increase. This could bring in also a, a partnership, a marriage partner. But I also feel that some of you are using your wisdom of what you've learned to not only move forward, there we've got the Knight of Wands, but Two of Pentacles. Seven of Swords reversed because you're not going to be able to plan things and strategize. You can only do so much of that. And then you gotta let go. It's like the chariot, you gotta let go of the reins. Now, some of you, again, this is gonna create a new perspective for you. You've got the hangman or hang person, hang one, and Nine of Swords because you're not able to completely strategize. You're gonna be able to do so much and then spirit is taking over. The universe is taking over. The divine timing of the Akashic is taking over. So because you don't yet understand this part of your soul or this aspect of your soul design, there is a lot in the mystery. You're in the mystery, you're in the void, you're in the unfolding, but it is bringing you what you enjoy or love more. It's bringing you more joy. It's bringing you more peace. A lot of you have asked for more peace in your life, in your decisions. You want to feel peaceful. You don't want to feel stressed. So this, this year is also about trusting the magic, the mystery, being in the unfolding. And again, not trying to micromanage it or figure it all out. A lot of you are having to move out of overthinking. As you move out of this overthinking, you move into divine flow. That's a lot about what this card is about and the message on the Akashic level is about getting you into that divine flow. And you have this flow within you. It is one of your resources. Your faith, your innate trust in spirit and your inner knowing. Now, some of you, this is about creating a new foundation that focuses more on your intuition or using your intuition or psychic ability in the work that you do. It's also saying to trust those ideas that come in, that are, that are divinely guided to you. This divine guidance is nurturing you and taking care of you. I'm also being shown connecting to the higher self. So these changes are going to bring you more into soul alignment where you are more aligned to your higher self, the higher vibrational frequency of you. That, that frequency, that state of awareness and consciousness seamlessly connects you to your soul. So a lot of you are on kind of, you know, and I don't know the exact timing of that would be a different reading, but you're in the last bit of this soul alignment where you are aligning more and more. You're, you're in the process of an awakening, awakening to the cosmic you, the cosmic I. You know, I am that that I am. <clears throat> you're awakening to the part of you that isn't in physical form and living more from that part of you. Wow, you're really transcending a lot. There's a lot that you're transcending. And some of you are being transported a lot of you are going to see, have dreams, like prophetic dreams, or you're going to be getting messages, signs, symbols, sigils, uh, cledons, like a, a message from someone that's delivering a message that they, they don't even realize they're delivering a message, or you're, you're watching something, maybe this reading, or watching something on YouTube. You're going to be remembering the past, past lives, and what you're bringing forward. A lot of you are reconnecting in a different way to your purpose, your mission on life. What are you, your mission, your starseed mission, your soul mission, why you're here, what you're here to do. A lot of you have are going to have early childhood memories coming back with a deeper understanding of what happened to you growing up, your life, where you're at now, why. This is going to put you in touch with different people. There's this cross-pollination here where you're meant to get out of your little circle, your little group or neighborhood or your little community, you're going to be expanding more. Definitely 
source energy spirit wants you to know that you're going to be expanding now you are connecting also some of you a lot to your future self there's a lot about connecting to the future some of you are you know you could say you're from the future and you some of you have come in with knowledge ancient knowledge knowledge that's but it's it's future knowledge it's ancient knowledge maybe esoteric knowledge but there's something about also getting paid for acknowledged and paid for your knowledge or paid for what you know or what you're helping so a lot of you it's time to get paid more okay it's tar you know fast changes it's time to yeah it's time to get paid more that's what i heard that's i can't say it any other way that's how it's coming through so it's something that you've built now i gotta move the two cards came on the ground do i take them or not it's hard to get them up oh yeah these are good new life see you get a fresh start I'm going to say the next cycle for you, power position. Yeah, moving into a leadership role, knowing that you know. So a lot of you are moving more into that expert status. I talk a lot about this. I did a post on Instagram about this. I think in my Insta stories. But I've been talking a lot about this on Patreon. And if you're watching this video and you really want to dive in deep to your soul and have that guidance, I would consider my um, Patreon you know, soul awakening uh, soul study group and um, the soul path journey see starting to outgrow your work you need to get higher goals stand yeah see you don't okay you don't know what you don't know and you don't know yet what you know until you are in certain circumstances so this mystery this magic this mystery this karmic completion the culmination this whole new level that you're at you know, it's, it's a solar eclipse. Something is being eclipsed or changed in your life, but you are eclipsed from yourself and you're emerging in a way as this new being, but it's going to feel a little awkward and a little, for some of you, maybe uncomfortable, with, but then it, and then it feels very familiar. Like, oh my God, this is how, this is so me. This is how I've always been, or this is what I've really wanted. And it does show wishes come true. So you, this is a whole level of up leveling, and the changes are going to happen fast. They're they're going to happen. They're happening bit by bit. And I feel like this new life is already here with you. It's already happening. And then there's going to be some external things that happen very quickly. Some of you, this could be a quick move. This could be a great relationship, and you end up getting married or partnership or living with someone or some of you living differently. Right now you're bridging the old and the new. You're in the middle. You're balancing out the old vibrational frequencies that are transmuting and being subsumed into the all that is to recalibrate and requalify to bring you into this next wave, this next level. But yeah, you're going to have, some of you, this is also changing the perspective. Now, this card keeps coming up. Yeah, see, don't micromanage. That's what's changing. you got to change that. When you do that, pop up into the higher self. You know, if you go to my website, soulplayground.life, I do have the alignment meditation, focus meditation, alignment meditation. Either one of those will um, help you connect into your higher self which connects you to your soul. Look at this money tree. I told you there, th this, you're going to have so much abundance starting this year. You're going to be able to save money and people are, money doesn't grow on trees, but it there's because you've shifted, you've put the time, the energy, the work in. Now it's kind of, you got to get out of your head and you got to focus on creativity. See, this is a new creative expression, expansion budget. Okay. So one of the things that I'm being shown, and, and you will build, you will be able at some point to spend any amount that you want. But while you're bridging, because what's going to happen is you're going to get a lump sum, something increases financially, lump sum of money, but you're still budgeting here, okay? Until this other shift happens, whether it's an influence, a job, 
Some of you could be being, you know, influencer. You could be doing something online. Some of you could be a new position. Some of you, some of you, I also feel it could be working with people in the TV film industry. Some of you could even be, you know, videos. It could definitely YouTube. It could be reality program or any any kind of visual medium. Um, I guess it could also be radio or TV. But I, I feel like there's something that's going to set you apart from others. But your higher self is saying, still don't, you're still in process. You're still balancing things out. So we, because also you want to be prepared for these openings or opportunities. So take the time out to put some money aside. There's definitely going to be financial increase, you know, monetary increase uh, from one or two or multiple sources. But also I feel like there could be a big, pay. either you're going to do a big move or there's some big purchase there's, or purchases for your work that's going to help you be more creative. So you don't want to, you don't want to break the piggy bank right now. Okay, you don't want to break the piggy bank. All right, let's see what else. Focus on the mystery, the magic, and focus on... Um, okay, it's time for your changes. That's come out a couple times. Yeah, it's divine timing. It's in the Kashik. This is destiny. This is, you're meeting your destiny. That's what's happening. This is this, that's all this reading is helping you do is to meet your destiny. I want you to focus on what's in front of you and make sure that you're focusing also on healing, wholeness. Make sure you're taking care of your mind, your body. Healing from the past. Some of you have healing hands or you have the healing ability. You're going to be, some of you, that you're going to have a very nice vocation or career doing healing work, all forms of healing work. Celebrate. Now, I'm going to go back to that because I am getting a message that you, a lot of you need to take time out to celebrate your wins, your accomplishments, what you've learned. This is, this is not a little shift, this reading. This is not a little shift. This is a big transmutation, transformation. This is, this is a lot of shifting to create sustainable change that brings in new life, growth for you, but a new perspective, a new approach, and new life. You have new life, which when the change happens quite quickly, you're going to be able to jump in. Once the, in a way, things align more, you're going to make a big change in your life. So on a soul level, the soul is just through the higher self guiding you. So the soul is the blueprint. So in the blueprint, if you looked at the, like a map, it's like if you're driving on a country road and you're going to get to another city or state, you have to go on the freeway, right? Some people call it expressway, freeway. Autobahn or something. You gotta you gotta change lanes. This is a heads up to start changing lanes because then you're gonna get in the fast lane. You're gonna move over, you're gonna get on the on-ramp. Okay. So when the changes happen, and I just was seeing this, I feel like it's around May. Now, if you're this is a timeless reading, but if you're seeing this reading by the time I open it up, you're gonna know the new direction or the new direction May and October of this year around May and middle or beginning of May and then also October um, are the months that bring a, the most change for you or new direction. So some of you, if you've been wanting to move or quit your job or do something else or launch something, it's going to take that time, that much time to, um, to take off is what I'm hearing. Okay, let's see. Any months. Now we're going to look at any other months. So we've got around May and October. Oh my God, I love this, you guys. I asked any other months and you got let it be a mystery. And that's the card, the mystery. So I don't care, your guides, God, the universe, higher self. On a soul level, you're not meant to know exact stuff. You're not going to know exact stuff. You got the mystery card. This is literally called the mystery card. Don't micromanage. OK, 
okay what came through here next summer okay so I'm taking this as summertime so again in May there's changes October the summer months um, but you're not meant to know and part of it is I feel because there's multiple changes happening for you this is not just um, this is a lot of little change incremental change some of you this is a new form of creativity or you're going to be learning something new to integrate into your maybe career or as an artist some kind of artist something some kind of creativity creative expression project yeah this is um So what I'm getting guided to say is this is already happening. The changes are already happening. You are in the change. It's going to be a mystery. And, and, and you've got the 36, 9. 9 is the ending. You've got to flow with it. You're in the change. You're in the change process. You are changing. Things are changing. But the big change that you're waiting for, that exponential leap, that, that move, that change of job, career, the relationship coming in, the, move, the big move, the bigger changes that you're waiting for, you're not going to be able to map out because it's going to happen unexpectedly. It's going to be a mystery. It's going to be a surprise. And then, boom, everything falls into place like the dominoes. All right, what's the best perspective? For soul story number five, for this soul, this these messages, Aquarius, yeah, Uranus. And Aquarius, if you know your chart, where is Uranus transiting and where do you have Aquarius? And you've got the fifth house. So this is for some of you a move. This could be Uranus and Aquarius in the fifth house. This is new people unusual interesting people coming in this is diversity this is a new soul group a new uh, community coming in a new way of creativity or creating this is also you being able to separate out from the pack and finally really shine you have the co confidence now to move forward on those projects that you've wanted to do or ask for that raise or go for that better paying job or just more fulfilling job more fill, fulfilling position more fulfilling position in your career more more fulfilling career this is your time to go for what is more fulfilling also please remember to celebrate your wins whatever you overcome what you learn um, those goals please celebrate those milestones you know honor yourself in that way you've you're at an amazing place in your life and it's time it's your time to shine and you help others do that as well so th there's just a lot of gifts coming to you this year but the thing is you're not going to be able to strategize plan do what you can step by step and then let it go all right your soul insights mantra is I am the creative vessel for source energies. I am in the magic and mystery of life unfolding. All right, hashtag claim it. And if you want to add a little more, what about an apple and maybe a tree for a money tree? The money tree and an apple or hashtag claim it. All right, I hope this resonates with you. And uh, if it does, like, share, subscribe, all of that. And most importantly, you just shine bright. Welcome to the numerology portion of your reading. So I really wanted to connect in with all of you and get an overview of this year's um, numerology cycle and also your personal year. Um, I've been studying numerology for about 30 years. I've studied with some great teachers. And of course, read some great books and still continue to study. Uh, one book, and I'm actually, I'll put it in the description box, I'll put it, um, is Numerology and the Divine Triangle. So numerology looks at the energy, the quality of energy, the focus of energy, 
it is a cycle. It's, a, it's another way, similar to astrology, to look at what cycle you're in or what cycle we're in as a collective. Uh, you can look at numerology, like what, what house is best, what kind of energy you want to align to. So we have two ways to look at numerology, basic ways. We have the collective energy that we're in, which is from January 1st to January 1st, right? It's year to year. It's the collective year. This is not your personal year. Okay, I'm going to talk to you, talk to you about that and share a way for you to calculate that. So time is very arbitrary. You know, some people go by the Gregorian calendar, some people by moon calendar. Uh, technically, the our year starts in March, in the springtime. Uh, there's the Celtic New Year in October, the Jewish New Year in October. There's the uh, Chinese New Year in February. So we have all these arbitrary new years that set up a certain cycle. So we've kind of agreed in the Western world that January 1st starts our new year. So that's a collective energy. That's the energy of the mainstream world or the mainstream consciousness. Just like your solar return is birth date to birth date, so is your true personal year. Makes sense, right? So if you if you if you haven't had a birthday, let's say your last birthday was last year, let's say December 2nd of last year, your personal year does not start until December 2nd of your of last year, of your last birthday. You don't start a new year, right? Come on guys, make sense. You don't start a new year on January 1st. Your personal year so in numerology, when we talk about your personal year, think of terms of astrology, think in terms of your solar return. Why is that important? Because your solar return, that's your, your personal cycle from your birth date to your birth date. And so your numerology cycle is from your birth date to your birth date. That's why it's called a personal year. Now, how you calculate that is um, by your last birthday. You look at what, it, what, was, what was my last birthday. That's the calculation. And so whatever that last birthday was, that's the calculation for your personal year. I'm going to put up a little, you know, sign here, a little something that you can read it so you can calculate it. And then you can see, yes, are you affected by your, by the, collective unconscious yeah of this cycle are you affected by the mainstream consciousness the mainstream world cycle yes you're affected by that but you're also affected by your personal year and if you're focused on healing clearing clarifying manifesting connecting more to your soul you'll do better to understand your personal year and take that into account so I'm going to go over this and we're going to go into what is this year about. So if you're calculating your personal year, which is your present personal year, you're going to add the month and day of your birth to the year of your last birth date, right? So to find your present time personal year, the personal year that you're in now, you're going to add the month and day of your birth to the year of your last birth date, right? So it's the last birthday. So if you were, let's say, born, you know, 12, 10, uh, let's say, 1975 or something, you're going to take your last birthday, you're going to take that 12, 10, and you're going to add it to the, the year of your last birth date. Okay, so 1210, last year was 2023. That's your personal year. So your personal year will change in 1210, 2024. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I'll go over it again uh, briefly, but uh, right now I want to get into what is this year about, this 448. 
Now I read the sub the sub numbers, the subtext. I use astrology with the numerology, the tarot, they all as divination tools and um, for prediction and also for tapping into the energy, they all weave together. But just to keep it simple, I'm gonna just gonna talk about this 448. This is a time of a lot of karmic completions. What you put in will pay off, you'll get back. It's also a cycle of a lot of hard work. It's a, it's a lot of um, focused energy and work. And when I mean hard work, I'm saying more consistent work, putting in time, energy, and effort. But if you're doing that, this will pay off. Now this 44-8 cycle brings a time of assessing where are you at now? What do you have? What do you, where do you want to go? Think of yourself on a long road or a hike and you're like looking around going, how much further is it? Do I want to turn around now or do I want to keep going? You know, is it, is it the payoff to go back to something or to go forward? Eight cycles have a lot to do with accumulation, with money, with wealth, strength, power, empowerment, true power, coming to understand your true power in your life and understanding your power. If, if, if Are you have, trying to have power over others or are you having power over your life? An eight cycle brings us into a time of self-mastery. Now, something that's very important about an eight cycle, it is about breaking less than enhancing to non-enhancing patterns. So this is the time that the collective is going to need to break patterns, cyclical patterns, condition response patterns, behavior patterns, relating patterns that are causing more strife, more struggle, that are toxic, um, that are based on overpowering, by feeling powerless. These are some of the dynamics that are gonna come up this year. Power versus force, overpowering, being overpowered, moving into one's true power or empowerment. The victim abuser cycle will be really looked at. The idea of victimization and moving, we're trying to move out of that cycle of playing that victim card. Now that doesn't mean we're not victims or things don't happen to us that are you know, difficult, challenging, or even traumatic. It means not to live from that place, not to wear that, you know, as a badge. And so this whole idea of the, the balance of power and, and moving into more even power and people understanding their own power or empowerment by their gifts, by their soul gifts, this can be a, a bring a cycle. If you're very clear about what you're doing and what you're about, this can bring a cycle of quite a lot of um, wealth, kind of a lot of wealth, a lot of resources. It can open you up to more abundance. Um, a 44.8 brings new opportunities. It brings, for some, a releasing of karmic debt, karmic, um, in that karmic completion. It also brings um, a focus of your gifts coming forward. You know, like you can feel like, oh my God, I've got it all. It's kind of coming together, you know, like the domino effect. One thing is falling into the next to the next. Things start making sense. So if you've been putting in the right time, the energy, the focus, it's going to pay off this year in big ways. Okay, having my chamomile tea. Now, you might be offered a position. There's a lot of chances. There, there can be intervention, divine interventions. I did a video on the hand of God, how the hand of God is in this situation. You might, might want to check that out. Um, because an eight cycle brings in divine interventions or situations where you feel the hand of God in the situation that you're uplifted or you're uplifted out of a situation. Eight cycles, especially 44 eight cycles can bring a lot of miracles um, into your life. So there are a lot of answers to be found within. This is also a path of detangling from toxic situations. Your soul is gonna be coming through through your higher self to have you focus on people and situations that are more in alignment. So some of you may feel very disjointed, like things are not in alignment or certain people that used to be very connected with 
you're not feeling that same level of connection or a certain relationship or a certain job or a certain career choice or a certain routine or schedule. Some of you, it's even food. Um, some of you may feel like you really are waiting for this payoff because you intuitively or instinctively know it. There can be divine discontent in this cycle also where you feel like there's something more. Think of the eight of, of, um, of cups. So there is a lot to focus on. If you focus on a goal and you persevere, you will do very well. And if you handle your money well, your money will <laughs> handle you or be good to you. So if we're looking at tarot, the justice card comes in, like Libra energy, keeping balance, what we call balance out the forces. Uh, like I said before, karmic completion, karmic culminations, the strength card. It is taking the less ideal and making it more ideal by focusing on where you can initiate positive change, that you have the strength, you have the fortitude, you have the focus to make the changes you want. Uh, this 44-8 is also um, has to do with the Four of Cups. It's associated with the Four of Cups because out of the blue in a 44-8 cycle, you could be handed some kind of opp opportunity unforeseen opportunity or overlooked opportunity. Some of you may be going back to something you used to do, but doing it in a different way. Going back to an old opportunity or the law of return. 44-8 cycle brings that universal law a lot into play, what we call the law of return, where certain things that are your karmically or part of your destiny, part of your fate come back around. Maybe you turned it down before, or maybe you weren't ready. It comes back again, the opportunity, the relationship. So a lot of times new, you know, new people in your life that remind you of old people in your life, you know, old relationships or friends or family members that you once knew come in. Oh, that person reminds me of so-and-so. Um, it can bring in people from the past. It can bring in people that you were in relationship with in the past, whether personally or on a creative, collaborative, or within your work environment. So there can be a returning back to something that wasn't complete, wasn't finished, partially finished, or you enjoyed, but somehow life moved you in a new direction. So for many of you, it's kind of reclaiming where you left off. It can also bring in, with that focus of business, it can bring in contracts. It, the work that comes in under an eight cycle usually is, there's either a learning curve to it, a, you know, a higher learning curve to it, or it's just a lot of work. It's a lot to do. There's a lot, but if you do have the fortitude, you have the focus, you will prevail and the work will pay off in whatever way you need to. And for many, it would be financially. Um, it also brings in work on the body. So when you have an eight cycle, the material plane is, is folk, there's a focus. Um, the material plane is greatly emphasized. Uh, so you wanna make sure you get enough sleep, you get enough downtime, enough meditation time. You wanna balance, make sure you're getting out in nature, um, be around people allow yourself to do things or be around people that uplift you, go to places that uplift you. And also just be aware that you may also want to take time out or off. You may want to t spend more time on your own. But balance is key in an eight cycle. Now you think of the eight, vertically the eight connects us to the higher self. It's, it, it's represented by the higher self and lower self and the union between the higher self and lower self. So anything that puts you in touch with that, yoga, meditation, walking meditation, inward meditation, visualization, anything that puts you in touch with your spiritual nature, with your higher self, with your soul, with the spirit realm is very beneficial at this time. Uh, things like breath work, really beneficial. Things that nurture your body and really connect your body to your spiritual essence. And, and also feeling that your spiritual essence is within your body, is your body. Your body is the vehicle 
for spirit. It's the instrument of your soul. So there will be things that test you. An eight brings tests. It brings trying situations. It brings an evolution, things that you need to transmute, transform, to move to the next level. The eight is also about integrity and authenticity. Are you living you know, in integrity? Are you living from an authentic and genuine place? Or where can you adjust? So eight cycle brings some level of adjustment. How can I adjust to be more in alignment to my truth, more in alignment to my soul, more in tune to my heart? So it's going to bring that adjusting time where you're looking at yourself, evaluating, reevaluating yourself, your life, your relationships, your job, your career, all parts of your life or one part of your life or for some of you many parts of your life, there is this evaluation and then reevaluation to get to the right balance for you to thrive. So for some of you, this is moving out of survival, just merely surviving into what do I need to do to thrive, to express and experience more as my soul, to attune more to my heart, to have more meaningful connections, meaningful experiences, more fulfillment, to align to my soul. What do I need to do? So it also, with it 44.8, it brings in the idea of getting clarity, you're going to become much more clear. There's going to be a lot of clarity that comes in as to what you need to do. And it is taking the lower passions and desires and funneling them into a worthwhile cause or channeling them into a vision, into a focus, into something that is more, that elevates you. So 44-8 cycle, though it's trying, it has the energetic blueprint or matrix to uplift you, to up-level you. Because at the eighth cycle, spirit as soul is saying, we don't want to go back to what's not healthy, what's not aligning to the soul and connecting you to your heart. Don't want to roll back into patterns that are traumatizing or that you've been replaying over and over. So expect if you're stuck in patterns Things will crescendo. Things will get to a crisis or a choice point for you to move on. And this is happening in the world. So I'm saying you as a collective, but this is what's going to be happening in the world. A lot of crises, a lot of choice point, a lot of conflict, a lot of opposition in the world to get to that harmony through conflict, to get to the balancing point, to get to the right karma, the right energetic balance. And it is only done through the universe. It cannot be done through man-made eyes. It, it's something instinctual. It's a, it's a knowing, like you just know when you're overdoing or overgiving. So there's going to be a lot playing out, a lot of karmic retribution that we're seeing within the world, within systems, within corporations and companies, within educational systems, within governmental systems. You're going to see this playing out because the world, the universe, the collective soul, the oversouls is trying to bring in this balance so that people are connecting more to their genuineness and their authenticity, connecting more to their soul. You're going to see a lot of heart healing happening. And you're going to see a lot of unexpected challenges for some, but blessings for others. It just depends on where the focus has been. But you have a lot of chances this cycle to turn things around. Okay? So think of these cards. Um, if you want to do a deeper dive on Patreon, I go into the double digit, the subtext, the subnumbers. Um, and there's other uh, Soul Path tools there um, that you can connect with and learn and study and grow and share and it's a wonderful community so if that's something that you feel um, like you might want to try there are link in the description box um, how to connect um, with the soul awakening um, soul self-study and um, community all right so again i'm just going to repeat so that you know the way to find your personal year right the way to find your personal year 
is your last birth date, the month and day of the last birth date. And that is how you find out your personal year. Now, we're going to dive into the individual personal years and look at how this 44-8 cycle is going to affect you on a personal level. Hello, so light. So if you're in a personal one cycle, the archetype of the magician is going to be very active in your life at this time. This is the time for you to stretch out. It's time for you to create. It's time for you to explore and move forward. You're going to be very focused on manifesting, manifesting your dreams, your goals, your desires, manifesting from the soul, understanding what is more and more important for you. Now, this can also bring you wanting to focus on different art forms or creative forms. The idea of this cycle is for you to take the lesser ideal and make it more ideal in your life. You're going to be not only a bit of a magician, but for some of you, a little bit of a trickster. There could be situations that you get in that you learn by the reversal or you learn by the contrast. You learn by what it isn't or why what happens to you. Some of you are going to be learning what you no longer need or no longer want. Now, if you're in this um, one cycle, how this eight cycle is going to affect you is you're going to be changing. There's something that you're changing in your life at this time. You're actually going as an eight, um, the eight energy vibration with your one energy vibration brings you into wanting to really focus more on yourself, but also unity consciousness, focusing on the divine unity of the all that is. So a lot of you could be very much into spirit, spiritual practices, very much into um, philosophy, very much into looking at how the world works, how life works, how you work, how you best work in your life. All areas of communication are going to be very um, a big focus for you, a big emphasis. And a lot will have to do with new beginnings, independence, um, decisions that expect that that you can expect changes in your life. Um, you're going to be setting long range goals, longer goals in your life. This is the time to look towards the horizon. See the bigger picture. And begin to put some steps into place to get you there. Hello, Radiant Light. Now, if your personal year is a two, you've got the energy of the High Priestess. And for some of you, this is going to be, you're going to be much more intuitive. You're going to be following your inner guidance, your gut knowing. Um, some of you may even start opening to channel or realize that you want to integrate more of your spirituality into your life. You want to um, maybe even make this a, a a vocation, an avocation, or a career. Um, this two energy having to do with the high priestess, though, is also letting you know what's missing. You're going to be seeking what you feel is missing in your life. It brings a time in of cooperation and a focus a lot on your own inner knowing and self-knowledge. So you're going to see cooperative relationships. There could be a lot that is behind the scenes. Now, a two-cycle the high priestess brings in the understanding that there's a lot happening beside, behind the scenes. And what I mean by that is spiritually. So for many of you, you might have to be more patient this personal year, this cycle. Now, how does this two energy, if, this, if you're in a personal two year, if we add it to the eight energy of the collective numerology cycle, this puts you into a 10 a 10-1. So high priestess is also pretty independent. Even though the high priestess energy seeks the other or to mirror the other or to move into perception of the other or outer world, this is going to be a time where you're very independent. That independence is going to be really underscored for you. And also having to perhaps 
learn how to move through any kinds of disagreements. You might want to practice prayer more or journaling. Really process by bringing in the spiritual aspect of you or the spiritual understanding or the philosophical understanding. That's really going to help you in this year. Now, some of you this year can bring an awareness of I want to connect in more spiritually or I want to connect to my spiritual path more or my soul path. I want to bring in more my, you know, soul or spirit or spirituality in my work or maybe I want to work as a healer I want to share my gifts as a as a teacher a, a healer a therapist um, a psychic um, maybe it's readings on YouTube or posting but the idea is you're wanting to integrate more of your spirit your spiritual essence your spirituality your inner beliefs you want to integrate more in the world. Some of you will also find yourself around new people or new opportunities or opportunities for you to share your intuition, your insight, and your inner knowing will also be highlighted this year. Lots of love and light. Hello, so light if you chose Ah, personal number three. If you're in a personal three cycle, a lot is opening up to you. You've got the Empress. The archetype of that three energy is the Empress. This is birth. You've been in a gestation period. There's something birthing. There's something birthing for you. Um, This also has to do with creativity. So your personal year, there'll be a lot focused on creativity, sharing your gifts, working with groups or specifically small groups. This can be bring travel, new directions. You're going to be in an expansion mode. You're going to be expanding. You're going to be wanting to express yourself more. Some of you, it is in a more creative or artistic way. Um, Some of you may find yourself pregnant this year, getting pregnant and or giving birth this year. This is expansion in all areas of your life. Um, Also, you'll find that your, not only your personality will become maybe what I want to say perkier, um, maybe even more bubbly or just feeling that you have more life force energy. It's also going to affect your body where your appearance begins to take on positive changes. There could be changes into how you dress, how you look. Um, So how others see you is important now. Um, You could meet people through, you know, friends or associates, new new groups, new communities where you meet some interesting people or people that you feel very soul aligned to, to actually even do business or to collaborate. Now, if you are in a personal year cycle, um, the eight energy, so we take that eight cycle of this year and added to the three is going to bring you into an 11 two, which 11 is a master number, but we don't always live out the master number completely. But it it does have a lot to do with, um, for some of you, it could be real estate, it could be, you know, buying or selling property or moving, up leveling somehow. You're opening up to more abundance. So therefore, there's also going to be much more cooperation in your life, either with existing relationships and or also with new relationships coming in. People are just going to know you. They're going to be drawn to you. Somehow they're going to know something is different with you, maybe always different, or maybe they're going to see like you shine more. Um, So there could be, you know, quite a bit of attention for you this year. Um, The three combined with that eight brings a lot of magnetism. So you could travel, there could be long distance travel. Um, Also pay attention to your dreams at this time also. Um, There'll be a focus also on finance, money, investments, anything that grows your life. This could be the growing of um, investments. Um, This could be growing of like Bitcoin. This could be growing of a savings account. This could be growing of having to do, having the money to do what it is that you want to do. There is growth and expansion for you in this cycle. All right, so light, hope that brought some insight. Hello, Radiant Light. So if you are in a personal four year, this is going to 
to be an interesting year for you because you're going to be building something new. You're really going to be moving into some kind of leadership capability, right, with that emperor. So the four energy in numerology corresponds to the emperor. So there's a lot for you about consolidating this year, making things more stable, solidifying things, whether projects, relationships, things at the, with the home, things in business, things um, to do around the house, things to do with family, things to do with friends. You're, you're going to want to know where you stand or where those people stand with you. So there's a lot about stability, solidifying things, security, and also boundaries. You're going to find yourself having a bit stricter boundaries this year also. Now that four energy connecting with the collective eight numerology cycle moves you into a 12-3. Now we know from tarot, 12-3 is the hangman. But that three energy brings you wanting to consolidate so that you can grow. You're going to see ahead. You're going to be using your own, you know, business gut sense, gut knowing, going, I want to build. I want to grow. I want to grow into something else. Whether it's a business, you know, a relationship, a different lifestyle, you are going to be creating a firm foundation this year so that you can grow. You can have that growth. Now, some of you have had like a growth spurt. You have had some growth, but now, or, you, or you've extended yourself. Some of you might say, oh, I overextended myself in this project or this, I took on too much. So this year, you're going to look and go, okay, what do I need to pull back? What do I need to reassess? Again, remember this 448 brings reevaluation. So you're going to look and go, what do I need to reassess so that I can really grow? Some of you may have invested a lot or you're going to invest a lot, time, energy, or finance into yourself or your business or projects. And then you're going to look and go, oh my God, I got to keep working at this till it gets stronger, it gets more consistent. So some key phrases for you this year are going to be growth, stability, security, consistency. Because consistency brings security. Sometimes we don't have security on the outside. But if we're consistent at the emperor stage, then we know our consistency is going to pay off. Remember, this eight cycle brings retribution. It brings payouts and payoffs. So if you've been working consistently on something. You've been consistent, showing up, showing up, showing up. Now you're going to see the payoff. Now you're going to see the reward for what it is that you have been doing. So a lot of you, this is rewards in business. This is rewards in leadership, in bossing up, in feeling um, more of an expert, more feeling more grounded in what you do, and also receiving the acknowledgement, for some of you, validation for what you've accomplished in your life. All right, Soul Light, I hope that brought you some insight. Hello, Soul Light. All right, if you are in a five personal year cycle, change, change, and movement, five also has to do the archetype of the Hierophant. So this is about you connecting to your higher self and really listening to yourself and also putting a plan in place so you can shift or make those changes that you want to that you want to make. 5 brings new people in your life, new impulses, new ideas. It brings for some it can bring um creative partners. Uh partners to collaborate with. Some of you it can bring in romantic partners. Some of you could be dating, some of you could be traveling a lot can be long distance travel but most likely it's it's short distance maybe by a lot by car or you're just going to have a lot more movement in your life now one of the things that happens at the five a personal year of five is these influences are coming in your life to get you unstuck to get you motivated to get you inspired places in your mind in your inner psyche that you didn't even know was stuck so this five cycle brings openings and opportunities it brings influences that help you become motivated and inspired again so that you can begin to make those changes or 
things will happen in your life where you start making changes that you didn't even know you needed or wanted to make those changes. So five kind of loosens things up. If you think things have got a little rusty, you know, like in building, you know, they have those, what are they, the bolts, nuts and bolts, and sometimes they get rusty. This is like the oil, the lubricant that gets things moving again. So some of you, this could be movement, literally moving. Some of you, this could be movement within the body. It's definitely movement within the mind, where if you've had a fixed mindset about something or preconceived ideas, now you begin to let go of that. Now, if you take that five energy and you add it to the eight energy, the eight cycle, right? The collective cycle, we're in the eight. It's a 13-4, so something breaks through, a breakthrough. Things begin to transmute. The energy starts moving. Transformation starts happening. Now, the changes that you will see this year are all to bring you more stability. This, for some of you, is inner stability. For some of you, this is outer stability. Something in your structure needs to uh, change. Something needs to change in your life that brings you more freedom. So a lot of change. This could be new interests. This could be um, teaching, sharing, communicating. This could be um, speaking engagements. This could be teaching. And this is also preparing you to make decisions. So some of you are going to make small decisions or kind of subconscious decisions by natural selection. You know, it's like you're thinking you want to eat better. So all of a sudden you're eating more vegetables or more salads and less chips or something. You know what I mean? So there's these small steps, these small preferences that you're starting to make that begin to harness what's coming from the soul, which is an energy of deeper change. All right. So light, I hope that brought you some insight. Hello, so light. If you chose six, meaning that six is your personal year, this personal year cycle is going to bring changes perhaps in the home. It's also going to bring a yearning for more fulfillment. Many of you are going to want to change something in the home. This could be redecorating. This could be an actual move. This could be remodeling. This could be someone coming to live with you. This could be someone le leaving. But you're also going to want to be more comfortable in your home. So you could be clearing out things in the home. You could be getting rid of stuff in the home. You could be cleansing and clearing the home, redecorating, um, changing the color scheme of the home. This can also sometimes bring home repairs. This can also sometimes bring repairs to the body, a focus in the body. Um, like even redecorating your body. So maybe you change Maybe you get a tattoo or you change, you know, the type of earrings you, you wear or the clothes that you wear or the colors. This is all about connecting more to what is most fulfilling for you. Um, this also brings a focus on community somehow or various communities because at the this, this six energy, you want to give back and you want to do what's emotionally fulfilling. This is all about emotional fulfillment. Now, if you take this personal year six year, this personal six year, and you add it to the collective numerology cycle, which is an eight, you get a 14.5. So you want to have more fun. You want to do what is more fulfilling for you. And that 14.5 brings decisions also. So something is coming up for you this year about deciding what are the decisions that you have to make. And these are going to be decisions they kind of cut to the core. They have a lot to do with fulfillment individually or perhaps within a relationship. There could be relationships changing, relationship dynamics changing. Some of you could also be drawing in a relationship. Um, this can also bring a focus on marrying or someone that you have very strong ties with, whether creatively or collaboratively, they can become more important in your life or maybe a longstanding friendship or a new friendship leads to a romantic connection and leads to some kind of partnering. Whether it's living together with that person, dating, living together and or marriage. But you're going to be seeking harmonious situations more and more. And on a soul level, this is about you opening up to more abundance through creativity, 
emotional fulfillment, belief in yourself, trusting in yourself. Um, this also has to do with more self-expression and also projects, focusing on special projects, art projects in your life, creative projects, business projects. This is about opening up more. Now, a lot of you are going to want to share with people that are special or a special someone, share these projects, share your emotional fulfillment, share your success, and share your life. All right, so light, I hope that brought you some insight. Hello, so light, if you're in a personal seven cycle, a um, lot of change for you, a lot of movement, a lot of you could actually be moving. You're definitely moving forward. You're bringing in a level of success. Now that seven numerology cycle corresponds to the chariot. So spirit, spirituality, connecting in with your inner soul, um, recognizing that you are being guided. There's a lot about following the urge, following the nudges in your life at this time. What has been stalled or stagnant begins to move forward. And some things move forward rather quickly with that seven cycle. Um, you're going to want to make your dreams into reality. Now, for some of you, this energy also brings the awareness that you need to take time off or take a vacation or you need to rest. And it, those of you that are working on long range projects or goals, or maybe you have a job that requires a lot or a position you know, in a career that requires a lot, or you have family, or you're going to school, or you're juggling a lot. This cycle, you want to take care, mental, emotional health, and physical health, so you don't get burnout. So that seven cycle brings you very much into acute awareness of your energy, your energy flow, your energy pattern, and how your energy is best utilized. I would say for, for you, it's good to look at your biorhythms. What are the, your natural biorhythms? Um, what's, what's best to do in the daytime? What's best to do in the nighttime? What's best to do in the middle of the day? Do you need to take a day off or two days off or three days off? Or if you work a lot or you're balancing a lot, work, home, family, school, whatever you're balancing, where's the time for the respite, for the rest? Um, a lot of you will take a longer vacation. Now, this seven cycle is a bit of a flow year. You don't have to push. Next cycle, you'll be in a personal eight cycle. That's when you want to push for finance or money or creating. Seven, let spirit lead you. Let your intuition, your inner guidance lead you. Let God lead you, the universe, spirit, those spiritual nudges. This is a time that you're going to be more led. Things will happen much easier if you remain more in a flow state. You will align to the right people in situations through synchronicity. Your finances will take care of themselves. You're going to get a lot of clarity with that seven energy to let you know where is best to put your time, energy, or your money. Now, your personal year cycle is a seven, and if we add the collective numerology cycle, which is an eight, that adds up to a 15, six. So 15, what is a 15 is the devil. So again, you're building something, but you have to, rec you know, you have to remember your spirit. You have to remember your energy. You have to remember your life force animating energy, your life force energy. You learn at the seven, not to overdo, not to over push to connect into your body and also with that 15-6 or that 6 energy, right? You learn to what is most harmonious for you. This is not about pushing, not about pushing the river. This is not about micromanaging. It's going to require trust and faith, but with that, you are guided. Now, also what you're going to find with this cycle is like magical helpers, the right person showing up the right opening, the right opportunity, the right, the right job um, offer. You're going to find that you're led more by synchronicity. So you really want to slow down to follow the signs. You really want to connect in through the power of prayer, meditation, connecting inward, whatever you want to call it, whatever your belief system is. You want to slow down into those pauses in the void to connect into the potential and the opening because you are very guided by spirit. Miracles will happen. 
Let yourself be guided by spirit this year, this cycle. All right. I hope this brought some insight. Lots of love and light. Hello, so light. So if you are in a personal eight cycle, strength. You're in a personal eight cycle and collectively we're in an eight cycle, which distills to a 16, seven, which is the tower. And it's also seven of spirit. This is about breaking the code. This is about what have you been encoded with that's not helpful. This is a time for you to break patterns, move past limiting thoughts or beliefs or what's held you back. Some of you, this is going to require work, a lot of inner work. This might be psychological work, mental, emotional work. You might feel a lot of responsibility, um, a lot of responsibility in business, obligations, family obligations. You're going to have a lot of focused energy in whatever you're doing in your life. You're going to seem like this cycle is requiring a lot because your patterns are going to come up. You're going to see, oops, where do I need to heal? What pattern keeps replaying that is not helpful to me? What is not beneficial to me? The message for you is to look at what's not working. Like if you've been doing something and you're getting the same results, time to change it. So this cycle for you on a soul level is about making those changes that you haven't yet been able to make. The universe will help you. This numerological energetic cycle is going to help you make the changes that you haven't been able to make. So you could start a business. Some of you could be knee deep in work. Um, this is the time to pay off debts. This is the time for a lot of you to focus on money, on resources, on using your money wisely, investing in yourself or what, what will pay off later. Um, this eight cycle also brings a focus on results. So you might want to purchase or buy something, but if it's not really enhancing you or your life, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, maybe the bot, then it's not. And you have to be honest with yourself on the eight cycle because the eight cycle, if if you keep making the same mistake, there will be consequences. It's almost like a buzzer goes off, like, oh no. So it's really tr training you to make the most life-enhancing decision or decisions. Decisions that are more aligned to your higher self and your soul. Um, decisions that are not based on fear or lack or trying to push something to happen or, or decisions that are not based on uh, trauma, trauma bonding, um, old dynamics within relationships that don't serve you or based on condition response patterns. So this is a time for you to break patterns. Now, some of you could also receive some kind of inheritance. Whatever you receive this cycle is going to require something, time, energy, money, focus, or you're going to learn something. So in other words, if you, those of you that maybe you inherit some money or you inherit a house or maybe you win the lottery, um, you're going to have to understand what do I do with this asset? What do I do with these resources? What do I do with this money? Where do I invest this? Some of you are going to be looking, do I open a business? Do I do an LLC? What do I do with my money? How do I, so there's a lot of learning this year about life and about the material plane. So remember too that whatever you've been focused on or working on consistently, consistency is the key, will pay off. So you might also find yourself at a very high energy level because you really want to get things done. And again, this is being supported by spirit. Remember to renew your spirit during this cycle so that you don't burn out and understand that all strength or true strength is really inner strength. All right, so light, I hope this brought some insight to you. Hi, so light, if you are in a nine cycle, a personal year nine, that is the archetype of the hermit. And no, it doesn't mean that you're gonna be isolated or alone. It does mean that you do need to take time out this cycle. So whatever your personal year is, 
it is a time to take time out or and connect into your own inner knowing, your own inner wisdom. Take extra downtime or on your own time. Now, some of you, this could be time in nature. This could be time with a friend that you feel is spiritual, like a kindred spirit or kindred soul. Uh, spirituality will be very highlighted for you. Also, this nine cycle does bring an ending. It brings some kind of completion for you. So there could be changes, there could be um, endings. Some of you may already at this you know, video reading already see something ending in your life or winding out in your life. The other thing that nine cycle brings is in this winding out of things, you'll start seeing that your energy is less in one area or focus in your life and moving to something else, almost if by magic, like your tastes are changing. Um, you can be very emotional at this nine cycle because certain friendships may not be around anymore or things that were once important to you could be changing. You might be asking yourself, well, what's this all about? What's the meaning of my life or what's the meaning of life? You know, what is spirit or spirituality? What is my soul? What does my soul want? So you're going to be asking yourself the bigger pictures. Now, a lot of goals will be completed or these goals, you will lose interest or they'll just be done. And you're like, oh, I thought I was going to take this further. I thought this was going to happen further. Really allow yourself to follow the natural endings, completions, or winding out energetically of something that this cycle brings. You might also find yourself more inspired or wanting to inspire others, or this can also bring a focus of um, humanitarian efforts also. Um, this is kind of a period of change until a, a new cycle. Also, this is a time where you eliminate waste. Anything that's too much or isn't essential becomes less important and becomes burdensome. So you may be releasing certain things in your life, especially certain possessions that are maybe not in good shape or, you know, maybe you donate it to a charitable cause or charity um, store, or whatever. Um, because the, the idea is you're wanting to get lighter. Now, this personal year nine, when you add it to the collective energy of the eight, is a 17-8 healing, the star card, 17-8. That eight cycle again is, I've learned from my past to move on or let go of something, not try to hold on or not try to micromanage. I feel like this is the Buddhist maxim, maxim for you is that we're here um, to bond but not be overly attached. So you might be learning something about it, bonding but not being overly attached or having a dream, a goal, an idea or a vision but not being overly attached to the outcome or the changes that happen or being in a relationship bonded but not overly attached to where it goes or overly attached to the imperfections of yourself or another person in relationship. It's a highly spiritual time for you. Um, there becomes a lot of spiritual clarity as you're connecting more into your own inner guru, right? The inner teacher, the inner sage. Some of you may want to study with someone, study with a teacher, a master, a mentor. Some of you may move in that position where you feel you want to teach more or write or share your gifts, your insights, your wisdom, or share what you've learned. Not just book learning. When you get to the nine cycle, it's, yeah, it can be, okay, I'm graduating from school, from high school, from uni, from vocational school, whatever. It can be that, but it also implies life experience. So there's something that you're going to be applying your life experience to um, this cycle. Now with that energy of the eight, uh, with your personal nine year, it's also there's a, a sense of reaping what you sowed, like where you put that time in. Or in other words, you studied something and now you can go teach it or you can get this job or you've put in the time at the job and now you get the promotion or you get the bonus. So there is positive payoff. There's results that come when you have when you're in a personal nine year um, connecting to the the eight um collective cycle also so notice you know you might 
people might give gifts to you or there might be some things that come out of the blue that you're like oh thank you I didn't you know or I didn't expect a raise or I didn't expect this bonus or I got a better job offer so it's like the universe has been watching you as to what you're doing and so you are going to get those promotions not just in the mundane world but through the universe you're being promoted to a new level so that next cycle which I'm just going to do it here, which is the wheel, the turning of the wheel, which is the one, you move on. You're, mo you're preparing to move to a new level at that nine. You're completing. Um, a lot of you are completing on a soul level a certain lesson, and you're moving on. You're up-leveling. But at the nine, you're letting it go so you can go freely into that new level. All right, so Light, I hope this brings some insight to you. Um, I just want to thank you for being here with me. And I hope to see you in another reading.